Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Simulacra. This just came out. It's a spiritual successor to the game Sarah is Missing, which I played last year. It was one of my favorite games of 2016. It's a free game in which you basically hack into someone's phone that you found, and you try to find more about them and the situation that they're in without spoiling anything. It was free, this game is $5, and it's not a direct sequel, it is a spiritual successor made by the same company. So I'm eager to check it out. Full disclosure before we begin, I was given a free game code for this, so I did not have to pay for it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome, Anna. Okay. I have seven missed calls from Greg. A missed call from Ashley and 13 texts from Greg. Okay. Hint, Toby's birthday. How am I supposed to know that? Uh... Wow. One, eight, zero, seven. Okay. <laughs> It told me. Wow, we've got a lot of notifications. Okay. 99 videos, huh? They're all 26 seconds long. Let's go ahead and see what it wants us to see. So this game is Anna is missing basically. Entry five. There were more before this. Okay, let's go back, I guess. Restoration. I wanna snoop. Let me snoop. I wanna find out what Anna was up to. Surfer? What the heck is surfer? What happened to all the notifications? You're blocking my calls now. Okay, hang on, Greg. Hang on. You're thirsty, all right? Pick up my calls, will you? Please, come on. Out of line. You went out of line that night? Is that what it says? I don't know. When you went through my property... What? what do we have to fix this? Message corrupted. Select the words in the correct order to rebuild the messages. Okay, uh... You are the one that went out of line. I did it. What a nifty restore tool that is. You're the one that went out of line when you went through my property. I ain't even mad, just disappointed, but I know you are. So talk to me, I can explain everything. I will let you cool off first. Greg, just format your messages into paragraphs. This makes you look super desperate sending, what, a, a dozen texts? Within the span of a minute? Hello? Like, not everyone has unlimited text, Greg. Some people out there still have a brick phone. They have minute-based plans. Okay, it's been a while. How are you feeling? How, uh, what was the... It was two days later. This guy. Man, he doesn't know how to take a hint. I'm taking care of everything okay. Just give me a few days and I will sort things out. You can't ignore me forever, Anna. I would block this dude. Can you stop being so emotional right now? This is difficult for me too. It's not just you. This shit is punishing enough for me. So I don't need your crap as well. Very fecal focused in that message. Could you just hear me out for one minute? One? It's settled. You have nothing to worry about anymore. We need to talk in person, so please answer me. Let's listen to his little audio message. Anna? Fuck this silent treatment shit. Oh. Fuck it so much! I get it. Fuck it. But I get it. Get back to me when you're ready. I'm gonna give you a week. Okay? I wanna give you space. This guy sounds unhinged. <laughs> Fuck it so much! Okay. They said you didn't come into work today, and you're blocking my calls now? Where on earth are you? So today's the 15th of August. 
It's been five days. Five days isn't giving her space. Giving her space is like giving her several months, I would say. I don't know their relationship or their whatever they had, but... Okay, let's check out her recent chats. Hey, you still with your boyfriend? Come on, Merv. Just asking. People are talking. Have you considered that things you say might come of as creepy? <laughs> creepy? I'm just speaking my mind. Nothing wrong with dat. Isn't company policy to get to know your colleagues better as well? You misspelled colleagues. Colleges. Yeah, we need to tone it down. Way down. Telling me to wear my bareback dress because it looks hot is not appropriate. You're making a big deal out of this. I'm just being honest. Or should I say, M, just being honest. I can't even tell you you're pretty. I don't get it. You're being way too sensitive. Chill, LOL. I'm going to be your giver for the gift swap. You're going to love what I have in mind for you. What a fucking creep. Okay, I enabled my mouse cursor to be captured because before it was kind of hard to tell what I was clicking on. Sorry about that. Anna, I have these cookies I need to pass to you. Gross, Mom. Mom! Some other time, please. I told you, I have tiny shelves. There isn't any more space for food. Why are these people so against paragraphs? Do people really text like this? I don't text like this. It's only a box of them. Then why can't you finish it? Can't a mother bring her daughter some food? I don't need it. Why aren't you answering your phone? Are you still there? Mom, all I ask is some space, okay? Why does she need so much space? So you only want to see me when you need something. That's not true, mom. Then why are you avoiding me? I am not. Then let me come over. I am busy. You are always busy. It's like we are strangers now. Mom, it's nine o'clock in the morning. It's way too early for this conversation. I just want you to be supportive of my decision. That is all. Supportive? You say as if I never do anything for you. Who paid your rent when you took three months off to that silly self-help course? Ugh. You tell me it's going to be good for you. But what you have to show at the end? All I ask is that you come see your mother every once in a while. Is that so difficult for you? Fine, Mom. Next time, I promise. Good. Anna, Aunt Penny is coming over for a visit soon. I hope you are keeping to your promise. Yeah, I can make it. I will call you on when and where. I heard about what happened. Maybe it's time you listen to me for once and let it go. The world is not run by silly mantras or your sense of purpose. It is a material world. And we are a Barbie girl. Living in a material world. I don't know. I got my I got my nineties pop songs mixed up. You work and you get paid. You live your life based on that. Get this boomer shit out of here, mom. Alright? That's not exactly how it works. It's not that complicated. You have that already, so why are you so desperate to throw it away? About time you take what you have and be happy with it. You think I love what I do? You think anyone loves what they do? I want to support you. I really do. But not at the expense of your security. This really is boomer shit right here. If you want a change of pace, Aunt Penny has a position in her company. It's doing quite well. Maybe I can recommend you. Are you there? Answer me so I don't have to file a missing persons report. Sorry, I'm at work. Just want to drown everything out for a bit. It's just every possible shitty thing that could happen happened at the same time, and it sucks. I know you're worried, but I'm okay. I'll call you soon, I promise. Love you. So that's, so that's Anna's message. How many text messages did she send in the span of two minutes? It's crazy. If someone blew up my phone like this, I'd turn it off. Have you talked to Aunt Penny yet? Hi, Mom. Yeah, but I don't want to work at a PR firm. You said you want something different. Here I am trying to help you out. Again, you turn it down. What is it you want? I mean, if you listen to me, really listen, then you might come closer to understanding. She consults at a pet store, and that is not the same. Nothing is ever enough for you, is it? Ungrateful. I gave you so much, and this is the treatment I get. You entitled millennial. You entitled millennial. Fine. I am sorry I'm such a disappointment. That's not how you spell disappointment, but okay. I am trying to be better, but please, this is my own way. So much is happening right now. All I ask is that you trust me. I got nothing to show you now, but I will not give up. Okay, you know I do this because I love you, right? Yeah, love you too, Mom. Hello? Hello? Okay, so apparently... What, what, when's the last message that she, she sent? 11th of August, 529. Uh, yeah, 11th of August, 529 is the latest that we've heard from her. Whoa, this goes all the way back to July. It happened again. Ugh. Long day, huh? Let me guess. It's the meetings again, right? How late can someone be for a team meeting? 
half an hour, and I get called to the office for extending my lunch time by just five minutes. Nailed it. Being the editor-in-chief doesn't turn you into the queen of the world. It was so last min, and I had to rush like a maniac. Well, rush like a maniac. Dropped everything just to be on time. Had to skip my afternoon latte. <laughs> oh, no. Got grumpy and scowled at the assistant again. Shit. This is the second time I lost my shit this week. See? You gotta be chill and watch your temper. No, it's my watch. I thought I had it with me. I can't remember where I put it. Oh, do you want me to check my place? Never mind. I'm sure it will turn out somewhere. You will lose your head if it wasn't attached to you. What? Okay. You're the one who lost your watch! What? I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm bad at losing things? Come on. You still wanna go out later? Wait. I feel like that's supposed to be from Anna, not from Ashley. Yes, please. Vortex Club. Okay. Life is strange, huh? Okay, TTYL then. I've gotta finish an application first. Hey, on my way. Okay. Hi, hi, hi. Why'd you leave? Greg wasn't feeling it. Oh, they were together. Right there. You missed out. Dancing with me. Ha ha. Next time, I promise. Anyways, looks like you have fun with Victor. I did have fun with Victor. Ha ha. Night, night. Okay. Thanks for listening to me. That's what I'm here for. Try to get some rest. Okay. She was probably bitching about Greg here. I can't believe that guy. Shit. You know what he literally just did? Oh, wait. Don't tell me. Let me guess. He didn't lift the toilet seat. Okay, wait. If he didn't lift the toilet seat, that's a good thing. If he leaves the toilet seat lifted, that's what the issue is, right? Personally, I've never had anyone complain at me about leaving the toilet seat lifted, but I always just put it back down anyway. So, I mean, I don't think it's a big deal. I don't understand why this is like a thing. Uh, let's see. Sorry, sorry. Okay, tell me. I confronted him about it, and he again denied it. Let's put this together. Um, I took his phone and... Oh, wait, 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 wait. So I took his phone. So I took his phone and showed it to him. These are easy so far. I bet they'll get harder the like the longer the paragraph is. No way, you looked through his phone? It's wrong, I know. I am not the jealous type. Really, am not. I know that, babe. But it was just there. A message came in and I just looked. Hey, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Whatever it takes to be completely sure, you know. At least now you know. You can let the whole thing go now. You should see his fassy. He has the nerve to accuse me of invading his privacy. He yelled at me. I told him to leave. And that's the end of it. Hugs from me, okay? So what do you say he's going to do about it? Honestly, I don't know. I don't want to know. Hurts to think about it. Thanks, Ashley. For what? Listening. I know it's very difficult thing for you to do. LOL, bitch! Just let me know if you need anything, okay? Anything. Okay. Interesting. And the last time this uh, Anna talked to Ashley was in July. So two weeks without talking. Uh, okay, so we can choose a reply. Who is this? <laughs> He'll love that. You're kidding me, Anna. You give me the silent treatment? Disappear? Now you forget I exist? Anna's currently unavailable. What are you rambling about? It was one sentence. It's not rambling. This is some kind of trick to stop me from reaching you? You're better than this, Anna. You keep nagging me at that as a couple. We need more. So let's talk. Uh, sounds like you and Anna got issues. <laughs> I don't give a shit about this guy. Let's troll him. Oh, you're not Anna? For real? Who is this? You're not her new fling or anything, are you? In case you are unaware, we are dating. <laughs> I like that little mad face. Let's not respond. Let's just not respond. What else do we got going on? We got vlogger. We got a new notification here. First vlog. What the hell? to myself. Um, this is video log number one. I'm supposed to just speak my mind. Whatever comes. No wrong Did you curl your hair for the vlog? Nobody's gonna see this, so. Um, don't, don't make that assumption. Pretty crazy lately, and I just needed an outlet of sorts. 
is supposed to be therapeutic. Uh huh. We well, gotta. You gotta use it. <laughs> okay. Well, that was um. Okay, that was take one. But you need you need more takes. You never do your first vlog in one take. It doesn't work that way. Sinking videos. Well, I want to see the rest of these. I guess we'll find out later. What's the? Okay, let's see. Greg, Ashley, and Mom are my only... Oh, they're my favorites. Look at all these missed calls from Greg. When's the last accepted call? It's from this unknown number, August 9th. What happened? Let's call it. So it's just beach sounds. Can we call Greg? Is he not going to pick up? Signal error. Okay, I'm guessing that we can't call anybody right now. Okay, um... She's kind of cute. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So you don't know Anna? Then why why are you holding her phone then? Uh I think someone sent me this phone. I don't know. I didn't really get context for why I have the phone. Did Anna send you her phone? That's kinda odd. She looks like she I think she's in danger. Alright, Greg, let's get on the same page. Huh? Is she okay? How the frick should I know? She left a weird video. Send me that video. Now! Now! Um... This is it. Send. Okay, and while he's watching it, uh... Let's check out our gallery, because there's a bunch- Is this some kind of sick joke? It's just static and noise. If you did something to Anna, I swear to God. Okay. Anyway, hang on. Wait, what's this? Select the fragments in the correct order to rebuild the images. Uh... In the correct order? I don't understand. I don't really understand. Oh, oh, okay, hang on. Oh, that was, that was easy once I figured it out. Nice. We got her Instagram selfie. Good. Glad we pieced that together. Who'd you send this to? Okay. Hopefully that's not a public facing image. Hey, here we are in July. Well, there's, there she is with Ashley. She likes to take pictures with Ashley. They go, they go to get coffee dough together. Ice cream. There she is with Ashley. They're hanging out somewhere. The clinic? Is that what it is? Uh, looks like we got another corrupted image here. Wow, we gotta piece all these together, huh? So, the, either this one or this one, the, these are the last ones they have to be, because the rest, I think this one's probably the first one. Probably that, because it's got the same thing. There we go, and then that. Yeah, that was easy. Great, I'm glad we restored the image of her with a happy birthday picture with her cat. What the heck? Oh, that's her and Greg, huh? Whatever. Let's see. Oh, this is easy. Yeah, that one was like a three-step one. Glad I didn't have to spend any more time on it than I had to. Are there any creepy pictures? I mean, aside from this one. Uh, nothing seems really out of the ordinary. It's not like, you know, Sarah's missing, like, all the pictures seem normal except there was, wait, was it? Did I not get this one? Okay, right there, and then, yeah. So who took that picture? Did she take that picture? I think Ashley did. I feel like a creep right now. 
Okay. Me. I mean, all your pictures are of you. Wow, okay. All black, huh? Let's take a look at... What about this video? Four, four seconds. Oh, shit! What happened? Were you trying to take a selfie? And it turned into a video? All right, let's talk to him. What, Greg? Um... Looks like it deleted itself. WTF is going on? Fuck this silent treatment shit! Let's accept. Hello? Who the hell is this? Answer me! Where did you get the phone? Is Anna with you right now? In my heart. Are you ignoring me? Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Hey, why you're not talking? Uh. The reception was bad. I don't know. Take it off silent mode or something. It's not on silent mode. Take it off silent mode. Do you understand how cell phone reception works? Shit, something came up. I'll try again later. And you better answer. Or what? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, huh? Oh. Wait, what? New message from Taylor. Talk to him. Okay. Uh, wait. No, no, no. Okay. Spark? So it's like Tinder. Okay. If it's a like, swipe right. If it's a nope, swipe left. Okay. Nope and left don't really, like, rhyme at all there. Uh, sparks will fly when you both swipe right, of course. Let's see. Holy. There's a lot to read here. I'm talking to you here. How many lobster dinners would it take to turn your bedroom into an acrobat's gym? Hey, I'm talking to you here. This is like, I mean, I've never used Tinder, but like all my friends that are women, like this is the type of shit they get on there. It's so creepy. Hey, cutie. Hey there. I got a romantic proposition for you. What is it? If you sit on my face, I'll eat my way to your heart, right? Why, why do these Tinder guys always go with, like, the most heavy-handed bullshit? Why, why, don't you, why don't you sit on my face? Tell me, Anna. What are your... What are you Monday priorities? Movies? Yoga? Happy houring? Uh-oh. No response. You need some rescuing? Sorry, I was caught up with work. I'm here. I would pick none of the above, actually. I recently picked up reading. Otherwise, it might be movie. Awesome. Anything interested you picked up? Anything interesting you picked up? You won't believe me if I told you. Tell. Philosophy. Oh, really? I believe you. You're just saying that. So, you... Are you always into the human condition? Nah, I'm just going through some stuff right now. It just helps me put things into perspective. How about you? Are you as good as advertised? We can meet up. I will tell you all about it. Come on, I told you something about me. It's your turn. Tell me about your work. Well, I did it a while back. How long was that? Three years. Kind of misleading, isn't it? It got your attention, right? It's all part of the game anyways. Aren't our profiles just better versions of ourselves? Call me an idealist, but putting an honest foot forward goes a long way. And then he didn't say anything. I understand. Works at T-Love. So he hasn't worked there for three years? Enjoys volunteering at the old folks' home, adopting puppies, and saving little kids from burning buildings. All right. I don't understand. Tell me about your work. I did it a while back. Three years. Huh? Okay. Um, like your pick. Thanks. Want to eat cookie dough sometime together? Excuse me? What? I mean, you want to go out sometime together? You there? <laughs> eat cookie dough? <laughs> hey, hey, animal lover, huh? You have one? Yeah, a cat. Oh, I see your pets too? Ha, huh. nah, I don't. It's a joke. They're Pokemons. Like the mobile game, the crazy popular one? That's the one, though the original was created in 1995. The Japanese release was in 1995, yes, you fucking nerd. For the Game Boy, I played it. I mean the re-release, hence the joke. Because you had to pick one of those three, and I played all three versions. Charmander is my favorite. Unrelated trivia, do you know that the most expensive Pokemon card is the Charizard, which is a Voltron Charmander? Stop it! 
What are you doing? Why are you on this? How do you? Surely. <sighs> Wouldn't you have given up on this app by now? Do you do you use this video game trivia shit on everyone? Right. <laughs> you play games. I was a Candy Crush nut for a bit. I wouldn't count that as a game. How is Candy Crush not a game? I mean like a real game. If Candy Crush is not a real game, what is? Like PCs or consoles? I played Mario Kart at a party once. I think that's pretty much it. We didn't say anything. <laughs> Edwin, let's take a look at your profile, buddy. Hope your standards are lower than mine. I have three pets. A, a Scrutal, a Bulbasaur, and a Charmander. At least, at least... Spell Squirtle correctly. Okay. Here's Taylor. Can't wait to see what he freaking wrote. You like to travel, right? Your name should be Wander Woman. Get it? Okay. Was a come on, not even a pity laugh. I don't know why we want to restore that message. I don't know why I'm doing that. I just assume you're busy saving the world. Okay, so six days later. Would it be considered cat calling if I called your cat? I have a grand night of a date planned up for him, her, it. So grand, it just might even have room for you. I just want to say, if I was on Tinder and these dudes were messaging me, I wouldn't respond to any of them. Wouldn't even give them the time of day. These are so lame. These are so lame. She's not on her phone right now. Oh, awkward. You her roommate? And I don't know each other. <laughs> and you're having her phone because... It was sent to me. I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna keep saying it was sent to me. Total stranger picks up a lost phone and responds to spark messages. Isn't that kind of creepy? Like you wouldn't do the same? Fuck you. Right. That's cool. As long as you return the phone to her. You're going to return it, right? If... I will if I can find her! Finding girls is the whole point of Spark. Am I right? I guess I'll have to pick up my pickup lines after she gets her phone back. <laughs> I thought my Wonder Woman joke would have sealed the deal! Don't you agree? What? No! Your jokes are terrible! Jeez. Harsh. It's not for you anyways. You wouldn't get it. I'll let her be the judge. What? I don't get it because I'm not a woman? Put a good name for me if she comes back. It's Taylor Pereira. Tell her I'll be waiting. God. What a creep. What? Works at Fine Studios? Oh my god. He's got patch notes for his... Spark profile. Performance enhanced. Oh my god. Uh, let's okay, let's just let's get out of here. Okay, so what now? Are you kidding me? We just spoke. It was a minute ago. The wait is killing me. Aren't you a programmer? You should be used to waiting. You should be very patient. Okay, girl loses her phone. Gotta be more to the novella than that. Hmm, why wouldn't Anna have her, or call her own phone by now? Did you check her text messages? Yes. And of course I did. If I checked Spark, of course you did. Still working on it. I don't need help from you. I get it. It must be packed with juicy details. Anything else? I don't want to give out her information as just this dude. Greg is looking for her. Greg? Who's Greg? It's her fucking boyfriend. Yeah. She never told me that. She never told you anything. She never told you anything. More reason to meet her, right? I got competition. Nothing much to go on for now. Hmm. Okay, bud. Time for the next level. You're gonna dig a little deeper. Is her email open? 
Oh, what is she like on Jabber? Yeah, her email is open. Welcome, Anna. Toby's birthday, uh, 1807. How do I know? How do I, how do I remember? I'm just like, I got good memory. Achievement unlocked, you've got mail. We've only got four on our inbox. Honestly, I can't imagine having four unread emails. Let's do it. Give it up while you still have the chance. I heard what happened. Why didn't you tell me? You see what happened? This is what happens when you don't listen to your mother. All I want is what's best for you. I already put you through school. Now you want to do it again? And for what? Did they hear a noise? Uh, becoming a vet? This is the third time you got rejected from that school. Maybe it's time you realize that you're not cut out for this kind of nonsense. Wow. Everyone else is moving forward and you are the only person I know that wants to move back. Now that I know for sure you are not going anywhere anytime soon, I just put end end to this now. Love you, mom. Uh, yeah, not very supportive. I mean... Most people don't have their parents put them all the way through college, so I kind of get it, but at the same time, it's really hard to figure out what you want to do. <laughs> Where are those data packets I asked for, Anna? This is the millionth time you are directly disobeying my instruction, and I'm wondering if you are really putting the interest of this company first. What the hell is this? We are a surveillance outfit. And to be the best in the business, there must be sacrifices. Otherwise, I'm forced to question your loyalty. Please note your repeated offense of delayed work or shoddy tasks are beginning, are being put into consideration regarding your appraisal. And this is a small industry. We decide, we decide to remove your access to the lab Wi-Fi. And should you be found bypassing this restriction, there will be consequences. For someone who is supposed, supposed in surveillance, you have a poor way of showing your focus. Your superior, Tim Faraday, CEO. What the hell is this? Does this? Do you really work for this person? Surely not. This is like Pinterest. We're excited to hear from you what you uh, have picked up this week. We know it's your picked library that you have a thing for nature outside the city. Missing the countryside? Do upload and share. We can't wait. In the meantime, here are some images your fellow community members have picked up. Hope they are food for thought. Great. Yeah, these are cool. Uh, can I click on anything here? Well, wait, this is actually, these look like Instagram posts, but yeah, and that's like the Instagram logo. I just assumed it was Pinterest. Maybe it's like a combo. Hey, Ed, I think it works. Thanks again. P.S. You and your factory chain coffee. Cheers. Anna, junior executive of Faraday. Okay, so it's not just Tim Faraday. <laughs> I thought like Okay, we gotta read this. Hang on. I, I thought like it was just him and Anna working there, or like maybe he mistakenly thought that she worked there when she didn't. And he was just sending her a crazy message. So this is February sixteenth. Okay, so this is way back. Uh sorry to bother you with these phone stuff again. I updated to the applesauce version of the OS and it's pretty confusing. Recently reset and restored my phone, lost most of my chats, emails, and photos. Weird part, some of my messages are jumbled up or something. So this has been going on since February. It says it's corrupted. I couldn't find anything about it in the official forums. It's not urgent, but it's really annoying that I can't get some of my pictures back or my old text. Would be great if you can help me out again, please. Coffee is on me. Cheers. Okay, so Ed is tech support. Hey, Anna, don't mention it. Yeah, the applesauce version of the OS is pretty buggy, but I can help you out. The encryption is based on layers, and sometimes it just fails to work, and you have to do it yourself. For text, just try to guess the sentence and rearrange it manually. So this is just a little tutorial for what we what we do. P.S. I don't want that hipster bullshit we went the last time. I like my coffee, how the giant corporations make them. Consistent. Over and out. Wow. Okay. So this was sent August 4th. Okay. Well, uh, what's she like on Jabber, which is like Tumblr, I guess? Talk is... Cheek. Wow. Wait, what? Hang on. What? The right thing? Featured article. Students unable to feed themselves. The developed nations spend nights brooding over the issues of military defense, public health, and ailing econo economies. But there's a greater danger at large here, and more dangerous because ignored for being relatively harmless. It is the student debt. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's true. Each year, hundreds of graduates leave their campuses, entering the workforce with certifications. Their earnings are nominal at best, keeping them fed and clothed with a place to stay. Life is at a minimal, and savings paltry or non-existent. Yep. That is unless they are paying back their education debt. Interesting. Okay. This is interesting for her to get because we know that her mother paid her way through college. So she doesn't know anything about student debt, we can assume. Um... Okay, yeah, let's log in. Let's try to see if we can get the same password as before. All right, sorry about that. Somebody was at the door. Is it the password? If it's not, we can do a forget password. Okay, forgot password. Uh, yeah, that was immediate. Okay, yeah, reset password. What should we set it to? We can set it to anything we want. What is your pet's name? Crap. Uh, what is my pet's name? Um, I'll say, I'll say way ahead of you. We'll just, we'll keep him happy for now. Someone's a natural Snoop. All right, Snoopy, do your thing. Don't call me Snoopy, please. If you find anything at all, I want to hear it. I'll be right here. All right, so let's see. What, what the f- What the fuck? It's been no time at all! Hey, hey, find anything interesting yet? Anything that tells me more about Anna? Us. Tell us. I don't like this Taylor guy. I don't like him. Check out my reviews. Oh, we can we can swipe right or swipe left. Swipe left. <laughs> Check out my reviews. Let's swipe right on all these guys and just... Let's start chatting. Let's <laughs> see. Say something nice to him. <laughs> hey, let's chat it. Let's chat it up. <laughs> cool name. Where did you get it? Uh, it was a birthday. It was a birthday present. Oh, all oh, right. I get it. I thought it was like username or something. Mine was a birthday suit. Uh, you probably look great in it. Okay, I feel weird about this now. Let's go. <laughs> let's go back. Uh, you're here too, so don't judge. Wow. Yeah, let's swipe right on her. Oh. -ho! <laughs> let's say something to her. Let's just say hey. Whoa, another girl. Did I get my settings wrong? You swiped right, didn't you? Yeah, but I wasn't really looking while I was swiping. LOL. Since we're here, tell me something. What's it like, Spark? Everyone here sucks because it's true. They all suck. My sister told me it's pretty much 50% lame jokes and 30% unsolicited dick pic. Aren't you scared? Um. I don't know. Pick public places? I don't know, or just don't meet anybody and just chat for fun. <laughs> well, yeah, but anything can happen, you know what I mean? LOL. Gosh, what am I doing worrying so much? I have this fear that the person I am talking to is not who they say they are. I'm I'm feeling like that about you right now. Let's, let's take a look at your freaking... Yeah, I chat better than I look at my photos. I wouldn't say that so far. I wouldn't say that. I would say the opposite. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, nobody will lie about who they are. <laughs> yeah, that's why you meet them. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Feels like I am walking in a, in a trap or something. How do people do this? You don't know it till you tried it. I don't know. I mean, what is the worst that could happen, right? The worst that could happen is that you get kidnapped and placed in a torture chamber and nobody knows where you are. That, that's, that's, the, that's the worst that could happen. I'll answer that for you. I don't know, just uh, chill out though. Just chill out! You chat horribly. Sure, I will give it a shot. Good luck then. Offline, that's it? Okay, well, don't enjoy yourself too much. Keep in mind what I said. Be safe. 
Stephanie. Sex not guaranteed. Swipe right. Swipe right. Swipe right. Swipe right. Swipe right. Ran out of matches. Nobody else swiped right on me. Edit profile. Oh. Oh, I can only have... I can only have five interests. Finding love. Let's take that off. Let's put moving on off there too. Come on, be fun. Music, movies, what, what, are, th what are things that everyone likes? Food, uh, let's see. Personal growth, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see, casual. I feel like we're gonna have more fun on casual. Uh, pets and animals. Everyone likes that shit. Not casual. Okay, let's go with uh, cooking. Studies. Finance. No matches. Charity. All right, let's be let's be a fuddy duddy. Okay, we don't like entertainment or or consumerism or anything like that. We like the things that we like are personal growth, health and exercise, charity, politics, and work and career. Okay, uh, apparently that didn't uh, that didn't change anything. Darn it. Okay. What? What is this ringtone? Hello? Hello? I know you're there. You picked up. Why aren't you answering? This is serious, okay? <laughs> Say something! Fuck you! How about that? Fuck you! Reset password. Right, I gotta reset my password. This guy sucks. Greg sucks. What is your pet? Right. What is your pet's name? Fuck, I forget. What's my pet's name, Greg? You relax. I only hear noise. Ugh, we're wasting time. Whoever you are, I need you. I need you help. This is bad. She's not answering her door, and she isn't at work now. And it always notifies when she isn't coming in, even when she's five minutes late. Wait, are you? Huh? You are a stalker, dude. I'm done talking to you for now. Well, she did lose her phone. Pretty sure she'll find a way to call the office. This time around, not a word. It's not like her at all. This video you claim to see. You sure that's Anna? Pretty girl with the thick eyebrows. Uh, yep. One with makeup running down her face. God damn it. And she didn't say anything about where she is or what happened to her? Yeah, she said not to she said not to come. She said don't find me. What the hell? I swear if you're making this shit up, damn it. Okay. This guy like he needs to take about a thousand chill pills. Does she actually want to talk to you? <laughs> Okay, I realize how this all this looks. I realize how all this looks. I'm Greg Summers and his boyfriend. We had a small disagreement. I really don't think that he's your boyfriend anymore, or she's your girlfriend anymore, though. We had a small disagreement, aka she broke up with you. Now she's not talking to me. Okay, so she broke up with you and you can't let it go, so you're being a stalker. And you're trying to convince me that you guys are still a thing, but you're not. Right. Uh huh. Anything in her phone that indicates where she might be? Her jabber. She updates it all the time. What's her cat's name, Greg? Yes, what is her cat's name? Okay, let's go. Let's 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 move this along. We're getting into her jabber. What is her cat's name? Just to see if everything's all right. All we need all I need is one F to F face to face conversation with her. Okay. Um oops. Sorry. Uh how long has she stopped talking to you? Weeks. We had a disagreement. I'm just being the good guy. No, you're not. I tried to give her space. No, you didn't. 
She now treats me like I don't exist. Oh, you're just a nice guy! You act like a nice guy, too. It's getting on my nerves. Uh, maybe I deserve better than you. Listen, wisecrack. You don't know her. And you definitely don't know me. I think I do, though. So much you keep your opinions to your damn self. I do what I want. What are you going to do? Let's get back on track. <laughs> Figure out where she could be. What are you going to do about it? She's in talks with this Taylor guy on Spox. <laughs> Already talking to other guys? What the fuck? I don't want to know. I will deal with it when I find her. I think Jabber is our only option. Okay, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Yeah, okay. It's password protected. Let's tell me what her cat's name is. Is she this uptight even on her phone? Just let me know when you find something, okay? Be quick. He's offline. Why would you go offline? <sighs> okay, listen. It's wrong to share personal info. You're no fun. Oh, what? <sighs> okay. Because I was like, the only time she really talks about her cat is here. She says she has a cat. But she doesn't say what the cat's name is. And it's not... Oh, that's Edwin's profile. I don't care about that. It's not her profile. Her Spark profile. She doesn't say what her cat's name is. Tobias. Tobias is her cat's name. I was looking through like her texts and stuff. Trying to find it. Maybe she talked about him in there. But it's on one of the photos. Okay, so T-O-B-I-A-S. I wonder if she's an Arrested Development fan. What is your mom's maiden name? Oh, God. Uh, it was... Hang on. That's not what I wanted. It's on the email. Lauren Hardy is her mother's maiden name. Come on. I had to check. Okay. It would be... Let's see. Uh, what? This is it just Hardy? Okay, sorry, I thought it was like her full name. Uh, what is your favorite movie? Oh, God. What's your favorite movie? Uh... Be quick. Do you, do you at least know Anna's favorite movie? If we are back to speaking terms... What? what kind of boyfriend are you? Hey, I know the important things, all right. I don't need you judging me right now. What do you want to know her favorite movie? Because I'm trying to reset her fucking password! Oh, so you're close. Wait, what was that unusual login attempt? Her best friend Ashley might know. Text her, but do it as Anna. She might freak if she finds out a stranger is using Anna's phone. So let's keep this under wraps. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know why I would say this. He just said it. Just trying to make her suspicious. It's easy. Just get what you need. This guy is a manipulator. And no one needs to know what happened. I mean, he's a dumb manipulator, but... Oh, Ashley's online now. Wait, what's this? Unusual login attempt into your Jabber account. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if this is me. Hashtag awkward. <laughs> All right, Ashley. Hey, Ashy Flashy. What the fuck? Okay, hang on. How does she talk to her? Does she ever call her Ashy Flashly? Uh, I don't think so. She's 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 usually pretty formal. But she's not like, hi, Ashley, and like, hello, and whatever. So I don't like those options, but... Uh, she doesn't really greet her in these... I mean, other than Ashley, right there. And that's to tell her off. Um... Hi, let's just, just say hi, Ashley. I don't know. 
Anna, OMG, you won't believe what I just saw. You can't tell anyone that I told you. What is it? I don't know. Trying to make her suspicious. Okay, I know you're sick of talking about Greg. But I saw Yolanda at my building holding a Ferris and Kane footwear bag. Ooh. Okay. So, I walked up to her, played it cool, pretend to ask for her card and stuff, right? Turns out that skank buys stuff for other people. I didn't realize a job like that even existed. Sounds kind of lame, don't you think? Sucks the fun out of shopping, like, what if you want to return something? You return it to them or they will return it on your behalf? Shopping is pretty straightforward. Why would anyone complicate things? Also, she looks fine. I don't think she's... Maybe she dealt with it. Dealt with it. Dealt with what? Dealt with what? Actually, I'm not Anna. You're, <laughs> you're right, I don't want to hear about <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, last time I promise. You want to say some tag, something. Um, there's this personality test. Didn't you diss those tests? Finally caved in, huh? Uh, need to take my mind off of Greg. That'll get her. Anyway, I couldn't decide what my favorite movie is. Girl, a dog's purpose. Are you serious? A dog's purpose? It's like you wouldn't shut up about it. Like, you can even forget your own fave movie. Speaking of dogs, I'm a shower now. I smell like wet one. A dog's purpose. I guess you didn't see that behind the scenes uh, footage of the dog being hurt. Okay, uh, let's go... Back to Jabber. Let's put in a dog's purpose. Okay. It, I, I know it. It is a D-O-G's. And I'm just gonna, I don't think that she really uses apostrophe. So. I got in! Achievement unlocked, the gift of Jab. How do you win a war on drugs? It's hard to win a war without drugs as it is. Wait, why am I following Taylor? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Cause look at this, look at this. Look at the, look at the history. See, look at this. She doesn't talk to him. I'm the first one that, why, why would she follow him on Jabber and then not talk to him on Spark? She isn't. Is it like a million degrees out there? Or is it just me gonna chill at home for now? That was, that was a minute ago. So I know this is, I know the name is like Tumblr, but this is like Twitter. Okay, Bob Ross, great. Hi, Jackie C. What the fuck? Okay. What? No one needs to know what happened. Uh, something weird just happened. You got through Jabber, what do you see? Um, she literally just made a new post. Awesome. Not awesome. Not fucking awesome! Wait, what the hell? That's her place. So she's at home. Then why isn't she answering? She doesn't want to talk to you. Maybe she's still there. Should have known. I'm going to there to have a look. It's gonna take a while to stay put. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? What's this new vlog? What? Oh, Ashley and Greg. Ashley is so adorable. We were on the phone for hours, and I only said like two words. And like a good bestie, I sat through the entire thing. I don't know what it is about her and guys. She's always, I don't know, self-conscious about it? And I'm not like that with Greg. Should I be? I mean, 
he's been good to me, I guess. I wouldn't say she has thick eyebrows. I'm sorry, I'm hung up on that. I don't know why it was an option. It's look fine. Fine eyebrows. Oh, this is the same vlog. Okay, so we already we already watched that. It's still syncing these videos, so we gotta unlock them later. Uh, well, wait, let's go back on Jabber real quick because. So here's her. Okay, so she does work at Faraday Safety. Can I click on it? I can't. Today's gonna be a good day. That was three months ago. You last tweeted three months ago. Today's gonna be a good day. Spills coffee on dress. Changes into better looking outfit. Today's gonna be a good day. Uh huh. Only six favorites though. Found out today that charm still exists. Why does that have 17 likes? Fell asleep and the pizza guy was ringing the doorbell for 10 minutes. Awkward. You should offer him a slice. Too hangry. Hmm. Type a message. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> why, why, why did I come back to that? Does it really take eight weeks to review an application? Uh, okay. If you type everything in caps, it sounds like you're screaming. Isn't this general knowledge? Wow, so she so publicized this... This email from your boss? Who's, who's Ronnie? Who's Ron... Roncoms? We can't click on their profile. Crowd is insane today, okay? Oh, Toby. Right. But Tobias is okay. Toby is the cat, right? Ash Ketchum is a perfect human being. Ah, uh, he didn't evolve his Pikachu, so no, he's not. Thanks for letting me use your phone. Oh, her name's Ash Ketchum. <laughs> I thought she was talking about the real Ash Ketchum. She doesn't know anything about Pokemon, so what did she? Did she wait? She called her a beach. Okay. I wonder why do I gave so many chances? Let's see. Fun fact, ice cream buffets are the leading cause of food comas. Um, I think probably burgers are. That's like the weightiest food I can think of. Can we respond to this? Uh, shut the Fuck. Up. <laughs> okay. This guy. Super productive day. I only nap two times during work. Safeguard a general audience. What is this? Protective usage of foul language in your app usage? The use of profanity or any form of foul and abusive language is not encouraged, especially in a public app like Jabber. Well, we do not have the right to remove or restrict any form of language usage in other apps, we still would like to contribute to making the internet a safe place for everyone. Oh, if this is some sort of commentary on Twitter censorship. Give me a break. Okay. Who are all these people? We got Jimmy. We got Kate. She doesn't follow that many people. Cassie. The fan AMA will be published in an article. One of the best ones get picked. Make it count. 52 comments? How come we can't see them? Okay. I can see these. Thanks, Jessica. You liked this one. So she likes... Cassie, whoever the heck keeping it Cassie is. I wish I could see her profile. Uh, yeah, yeah, give zero fucks. Let's see. Spark is full of fakies saying the same thing. Most of their profiles are hot, too. She likes every post by Cassie, whoever it is, except for... The AMA, hang on, hang on. She likes all of them. Every single post by Cassie she likes. But, not the fan AMA. I wonder if that's supposed to mean anything. 
It happened three months ago, so it's not like she was kidnapped then or anything. Who's the, who is this person? Is she a model or? I don't know. Maybe she has something to do with this stuff. Uh, Ashley wants to check something with me, but she needs to to cool it. Should I talk to Mark? I don't really want to talk to Mark. Stephanie didn't really go anywhere. Sorry, Jabber Post. It looks like you're home. I want to check something. Shoot. I'll say shoot. I'll be casual. Uh, okay. Okay, so apparently she's not that casual. Remember I told you about my watch? Can you check if it's at your place? I can't seem to find it. Where did you last put it? Check by the sink. I remember taking it off in the bathroom. What was that? From Faraday. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What was that? Where was it? Was it on Jabber? Are you a very careful business owner that desires all around security? Something, there's something weird about the Faraday safety, I think. I think there's something going on there. I remember taking it off in the bathroom. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's check her photos. Okay, let's check the most recent ones. Um, okay, that's not her. Uh, let's see. Anything with her? No, because these are... She's, she's only taken one photo. And this is August 13th. Oh, shit. Uh, August 13th is after she was she disappeared though hmm yeah I don't think I can find anything really to help her here uh can't find it I'll say no warriors just let me know if you see it Kay yeah, sure. Okay. So what? What now? Exactly. So I talk to this smart guy. Oh, okay. Hang on. And I blocked my card. Shut the God. Calm down. Okay, I'm here. Need your help to get into her place. And I blocked my card. So immature. So to get my copy to work, I need to register as a guest, but they need an authorization code. It has to be done through Anna's phone. I don't like this. I don't like this. This is the security company you have to text. People use this to request temporary access for house guests. Send the code when you get it. Make sure you enter my full name. Don't make me wait. I don't, I, can I say no? Can I say fucking no? I don't wanna do this. I just sent an audio recording. What is it? Sorry, last one real quick. You sound a little off. I'm just getting this feeling that there is something you're not telling me. I just want to remind you that you can tell me anything. You know that, right? No matter what. Even I'll if I'm not here. you? Okay. I mean, even if I'm not Anna? I feel better soon. I don't think I can tell you that I'm not Anna. What the fuck is this? Hello, Anna. How can we help? Text invite guest or unblock. Okay. Invite guest. Please text the full name of your guest. Okay, Greg. I think it's Summers, isn't it? Greg Summers, right? Don't make me regret this. Okay, view. What? Great. What? Okay. So then I just a attach this? Okay. There you go. I, I think I did it correctly. So now you can get into her house. It works in the lift now. I can't believe my card won't work anymore. What was that gasp? 
She gave this to me on our first anniversary. Said I earned a frequent flyer card. God, I hope she's home. Okay, I'm at her doorstep now. All right, Greg. Something's wrong. What the f What now? What? I can hear someone inside. Doesn't sound like her. I'm going in. Wait, uh, fucking, if there's someone that... There was this voice or a sound. Fuck, I am recording this. Is it the TV? <laughs> Her cat is gone too. I don't see Toby anywhere. Um, hey, what, what, what's going on? Tell me. Her place is a mess, okay? There are stuff all over the floor. She is really fussy about keeping things organized. A robbery? Her laptop is still missing. Nothing else is, or is still here. Nothing else is missing. Her laptop's still there. So what'd you hear? What'd you hear, Greg? I have no idea what I just heard. Listen for yourself. You sent me the recording. That's what I was asking. <laughs> That does sound like talking. Alright, anyway, find the source of the jabber post. Her laptop is still warm. It's jabber. She definitely posted something from here. Then where the hell is she? Her notebook is here too. I'm gonna take a look. All of this just doesn't feel right. Okay, stop texting me and fucking do something. Something weird is going on. Yes, duh! Duh! Something weird is happening! There's a reasonable explanation. Well, tough luck. Nothing is reasonable so far. Wait! 120 seconds to cancel this request. Remote wipe. Uh... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, tell. Okay, uh... Uh... Reset. Remote wipe. Remote wipe. Can I say... It's not a factory reset, it's a remote wipe. Calm the fuck down. You're the one who's... It's her man's laptop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, let's do something! Remotely delete all data. I don't know, maybe you did it. Okay. Stop talking and start helping! Okay, tell me what you see. Let's do this, we got a minute, we got a minute. We have a minute! Where are they? Oh my god. You know her cat's name! Faraday? Okay. And her OS version name? I don't know. I can't access anything else. I don't know. I don't know what the version name is. How the hell would I know what the version of the OS is? <sighs> I'm sorry, if you were able to navigate the phone to find that information, that would have been fine, because I knew exactly where to go to for that. Pretty sure. That's good. I asked for your name. All right.
Hello, John Wolf. For a more personalized user experience, please answer the following questions. All right, let's do this. Oh, the 20, 29, guys. Uh, USA. Experienced. Experienced user. Uh, manually configure new settings. Let's just do auto. Often. Late. What's your favorite kind of smell? Why is there, a, why is there an image of a toilet? Bacon, even though it's not, I just, I don't care. Which part of an animal do you prefer to eat? Thigh? Tell me about this, your saddest moment in life. This one. Right. Now. <laughs> okay, okay. You have to tell me more. Uh, when you uh, remote <laughs> wiped my phone. I have to tell you more? What do you want? It really sucked. Are you paranoid that your phone or laptop camera might be recording your every move? Yeah, sure. If everyone can only tell the truth all the time, do you think this will make the world a better or worse place? Better? Yeah, I think better. Just swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Sure. Would you rather know the date of your death or the cause of your death? Date. Would you rather lose your mind or all your limbs? Limbs. If you look behind you right now, would you rather see a floating disembodied head or a headless body? A floating head, I think. Your hair smells nice. Shut the fuck up. False. You agree to surrender all of your personal data to Iris OS for the further improvement. Decline. But if we know more about the user, we can help you find them in case they go missing. Fine. Yeah, unless their phone gets remotely wiped. This sucks. What happened to Greg and all them? The service is complimentary for one year from this date. After that, a yearly subscription fee will be charged. We hope to be of continuous service to you. Remember, we are always watching over you. Your chat ID is John88. Right, because I I'm 29. What the hell? This game completely changed. John.wolf88 at imail.web. Great. I have two wallpapers. <laughs> okay, PlayStation. What happened? And we're back. You! Message corrupted. Are you safe? Message from Ulner? Who the hell is Ulner? Who is this? 12th of August, 2017. This is three days in the past. Don't you recognize me? It's voice. Do not. Uh. You need to tune it out. What the hell? Who's... That's not the proper grammar, but whatever. Whose voice? The one. The many. Its voice. What the fuck? It keeps changing the date! Do not believe it. You must resist its words. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What? What the? Okay, so we can, all we can do is chat right now. Resist what? It's image. It's a lie. You must have seen it. Another message was corrupted. Lots of messages corrupted. You are not Anna. 
What if I am Anna, though? Something is wrong, okay. This is not Anna. No, 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 Anna. Wait, what? She will soon be gone. Oh, wait. She will be gone soon. Okay. How do I find her? Give me a hit. It depends. Right. On it. Let's see, uh, find me and you will find her. Okay, Ulner. If not. Oh my god. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Um. What is this? Are you on top of a building? What was that? Why is she looking at the camera now? She was looking down this whole time. And now she's looking right at the camera. Jeez, man. Okay, let's watch this. From the Office of Admissions, the University of Cunningham, we have received your application to the School of Veterinary Science. We regret to inform you that you have not been shortlisted. Blah, blah, blah. We thank you, blah, blah, blah. They didn't even say why. And they have to take three months for this? <laughs> Ugh, this is not helping. Rejection. It sucks. So she's getting better at the vlogging thing. I mean, these are kind of bummers. <laughs> but, you know. Hello, fuck. Please tell me it works. If the dad is gone, I'm going to fucking kill you. I cannot lose Anna. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, where do I find? Hang on. You fucking scared me. Okay, so look, if you look on Surfer, hang on, where is it? Like, I think this tells you what version you have, doesn't it? Or is it is it this? Or uh, sorry, did we get an email? What version? It doesn't say. Maybe it just didn't say. Maybe you're supposed to fail the remote wipe there. Because I don't see anything that really tells us anything. Failed. Help Greg stop the remote wipe. I'm sure you can complete that then. Maybe it's like a New Game Plus thing where you, like, you find... That's just... That's got to be just a random ambient sound maybe it's like a new game plus thing where like you find out information in this playthrough that can help you in a second playthrough it's gonna kind of annoy me a little bit but whatever i thought we we're going to lose our progress uh it restores itself automatically if it works it works right i'm not going to question it this is too much weirdness for the one day okay here it is I found something on her laptop. Um, more clues? Hopefully, something like that. There are some phone data backed up. One, one here, another one at her workstation. That means there might be more stuff on the phone than what you see now. We work with what we have. I'm restoring from her laptop first. Okay, let's go. Recovered? Taylor said I'll think about it. Hang on. Wow. I recovered a lot of texts. Hey, since it, was, since it was the cat's birthday yesterday, when is your birthday again? Wait. Oh. Oh. Right. Seven... 18 okay, but it was backwards in the password If I can close the next client you're in for a treat you keep calling it the cat It has a name, you know, you're avoiding the question I know the month you get three guesses and if you screw them up. You let me drive your car. No. Yes I could just ask Ashley no cheating 
texting her, no, I win, I, blah, 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 blah. I don't really care about all this. They didn't text for eight days and they were together. I mean, I guess these are just, this is just a partial history that's been recovered, right? Hey, are we boring? What do you mean? When we were out last night, it was like everyone was 20 something and they had some kind of futuristic job. A founder of a startup, game programmer, neuroscience researcher. You work at a surveillance company. I know, not what I mean. Like we could just mainly, like we just mainly go out chill, chill plus Toby. You're a salesman and I work stupid big data bullshit. Are we basic? Are we norm core? White bread? Yes, you are because you use all three of those words. Yeah. I'm a salesman. So no question there. Dodging the question. You know what I just realized? This Greg recovered. It's not listed under the same contact. It's not listed in the same context, but Ashley... Oh, no, Ashley's isn't either. Oh, okay. I was about to say, what if we're not talking to Greg? Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, we got lots of stuff to read here. Damn. We got, oh, we got lots of stuff. Okay, let's see. Are you bored of me? What? Fuck no. Where'd that come from? It's been bothering me. Last night, you didn't really want to dance. No, you don't like dancing like I do anyway, but you seem kind of upset by it. No, just kind of tired. Yeah? Can we hang out again tonight? I think maybe work stuff is getting to me. Can't. Why? Work. I guess maybe I'll hang out with Ashley. K. You tell me, right? Tell what? If you're hiding something. God, 851. She was up all night thinking about this, I guess. I told you your present only comes on your birthday. It's not that. You are acting weird. You always say I'm a weirdo. Weirder than usual. An example would help. I don't know. Just a gut feeling. You're overthinking things. Promise me. Promise me that everything is fine. What's gotten into you? Just do it, please. Okay, I promise. Everything is fine. I love you. No, I love you back. Hey, you're mad, I can tell. You just don't you don't just storm out the house without saying anything. Tell me. Tell what? I want you to tell me. Why do you think I'm mad? Tell what? Okay. Hang on, we gotta What the hell? Let's put this back together, okay? Um let's see. Put that there. Um it's easy. What does it say? Ferris and Kane, extension 0405, Yolanda. So that's what she found on his phone. Uh, who the hell is Yolanda? So now we know that's why Ashley and her were gossiping about Yolanda earlier. You looked through my phone, I knew something was up. You could have fucking told me. How long were you gonna wait? Fuck, I made a mistake, I can explain. Please do. She was the client I need for last month's Target. We met a few times after work. She's persistent. I made a mistake. I own that. But everything after that was not me. Bullshit. Anna. And then she's going to text another one. Let's see. What? She's pregnant? Not pregnant. Oh, she's... Okay. <laughs> okay. What's that to say? Um... Oh, it's easy. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Derez. And then, let's see, you cheated on me and almost got her pregnant. Yeah, hey, I don't know. This is unreal. It's it's inconclusive. I have to try again tomorrow. Oh, my God. I told you I'm not allowed to just get rid of clients. You're not allowed to fuck clients. Wow. She was the last clothes I needed. I know it's hard to believe. I don't fucking care. <laughs> so weird. Anna, leave me the fuck alone, Greg. Anna, let me fix this. Okay. So you cheated on her. Um, let's see. He's been calling me for a few days. I've not been responding. Should I come over? I don't know. I just keep going back and forth between being angry at him and feeling guilty about being so upset. Hugs. Toby is the only lover I need. First woman desperate enough to marry uptight marry upright marry their cat. To time to enter the fringes of society, Ashley. Time to be cat wife. Do you, Anna, take Tobias the cat as your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. Yes, I do! Sounds terrible. Leave my shit jokes alone. Okay, so I'm gonna call you later, okay? Yeah, okay. Uh, hey, how you feeling, pretty girl? Bag of rocks. Uh, so these are the these are the more recent texts. So we got the the older texts from Greg. We got the newer texts from Ashley. Bag of those bricks made out of poop. They dry out in developing desert communities. They use them to build amazing houses with decent insulation and stabilize the small rural economy. What the hell are you talking about? 
And the nonprofit takes a glammy picture of the whoever people in the CEO and you feel weird because you're like, is this picture boasting about helping people or is it promoting the CEO and their self-interest somehow? Anyway, in the background of the pic, there are unused extra poop bricks which will get rained on, return to a former but lesser poop form and eventually dry out in the sun, leaving nothing but a stain and I am that stain. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Okay, so they applauded that. I've been reading a lot. Call me if you need to, okay? Hey there, handsome. Who, me? How you doing? About the same? Let's hang out tomorrow. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty content in my angry, lonesome hole. Got a good book rhythm going. You know, Baudrillard is way ahead of his time. Who am I going to trust now when I turn on the TV? Why won't you hang out with me tomorrow? Hang out with me. I am hotter than your cultural commentary. Eh. Okay, this is just, what are we getting from this? Or Are we getting anything from the story? Or is this just a cutesy conversation between them? Be my date. I'll be a good date. We'll get pretty and we'll go on the town. Ashley likes her so much. Are you all right? What's gotten into you? Hello? Hey, um, God. I just read my text. I am so, so sorry. Can you do me a favor and just ignore all of it? <laughs> hmm. I had a wee bit too much to drink last night, and yeah. I have no idea what I was saying. I'll make it up to you, okay? I'm going back to sleep, so I'll catch you soon, all right? As far as we know, they haven't they haven't corresponded since then. Okay, let's, uh, did I get it? Yeah, hang on. I've got a lot of I've got a lot of stuff to read, Greg. Um, let's see. Twentieth of July. I got your application, but the boss is sitting on it for now. It's wearing that thing you brought up. The application of my two week study leave. What the hell? Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, apparently Tim sucks. Uh, let's see. Your order has been shipped. The Consumer Society, Myths and Structures, and the Singular obje Objects of Architecture. From Rainforest. Interesting. <laughs> Merv. Hey, Anna, it looks like you're my receiver for the next week's company gift swap. I know the gifts are meant to be secret, but I don't like giving gifts that you ultimately don't want, so I'm breaking tradition. We'll get you something that you truly deserve. Is this a dick pic? What is it? Oh, my God. Tell me uh, your dress size, and I will pick you the... Wait. Hang on. And I will pick the perfect body for you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I... Well, what is it? Hang on, hang on. Tell me your dress size, and I will pick the perfect... Wait. Tell me your body size, and I will pick the perfect dress for you? Tell me your body size? That doesn't make any sense. Neither does what I, neither does what I have. Uh, tell me your... Um, It obviously starts with tell me your, tell me your body size and I will pick the perfect dress for you. Tell me your body size. Um, you somehow managed to look so hot in office wear. This is so inappropriate. So why not I get you a smashing office dress? Tell me your body size and I'll pick the perfect dress for you. Make sure to give your bust, waist, and hip measurements. I want to get it right the first time. A sheath dress will be perfect. With a tight and firmer bust to pair with those long legs, you will look fabulous. Some might say it's distracting, but if you have assets, you have to show it. This is from... He's the tech director. This company sucks! And her mom's pressuring her to stay with them? No wonder they don't have a good relationship. When Your Life is Worth Money by Raul, Raul Dyson. Traveling has its perks. In fact, is one of the best ways to make friends, experience global life, and bring back memorable videos and photos. Nothing tops that except going to space. Right. Crossing Borders has its charms. 
which includes whether you realize it or not, subjecting yourself to individual countries and their legal or cultural quirks, crime being one of them. And among some of the more harrowing experiences is the kidnapping for ransom. It's interesting that we're getting this. When did we get this? We got this today. Their weekly newsletter. Dice roll insurance. <laughs> While armed robbery is not something to shrug off, the, I, the ordeal normally lasts no more than the robber is willing to hang around before undue attention or the police arrives. A kidnapping, however, is in the interest of the criminal to last as long as possible to eke out greater financial demands upon the family whose member is now in the hands of rough, uncultured men across the ocean. At times like this, reporters, police, and even politicians have their limits in moving the minds of the kidnappers. What they want is money, and while governments are all about not giving in to terrorists, the families have more practical matters to worry, such as the life of their loved ones. This is where insurance will come in. The K&R insurance, or kidnap and ransom insurance, are backed by most insurance companies, which become a valuable tool in the hands of families negotiating with the kidnappers. Interesting. That's weird. Can I click on her anywhere? Okay. So these are, so we have talked to Taylor before. I just didn't know it. I thought it was weird. Titanic. What? It's my icebreaker. Ha, huh, that's cute. People died though. Yeah, I need to work on that. So animal person, eh? Dog, cat. Only one, I hope. One is a handful already. I'm not the crazy cat lady age yet. So your profile says you serenade upon request. Yup. You sing, occasionally, prove it. I got my eyes on you. You're everything that I see. I want your heart, love, and emotion endlessly. I can't get over you. You left your mark on me. I want your heart, love, and emotion endlessly. Oh, wow, that's not bad. So is it true that the shower gives better acoustics? Yes, but I have to store the soaps and shampoos if I sing there. Interesting. Why is that? Otherwise, it will be a soap opera. Ha ha ha. Okay, you got me on that one. Do I get something in return? Your number, maybe? I'll think about it. Okay. All right. Did you get it? Great. Got a whole chunk of stuff. Man, finally some progress. There's something else. I was looking through her notebook. Is this thing you were not telling me? I've been helpful so far. Is this in her notebook that she met someone on Spark? I told you! Didn't you mention that she she matched with some people on Spark? Yeah, it's Taylor. I, I fucking told you that. So you've been talking to this guy all this time? How much have you told him? I was very selective. I haven't really told him. I, I I haven't told him much. Did anyone ever taught you not to trust everything people say? I didn't tell him anything. Especially if it's from online. Fucking basic common sense shit. Yeah, well, I don't know who you are, you know? Yeah, you're a stranger too, Greg. Fuck off. I am her fucking boyfriend, so you better stop listening to his crap and do as I say. <laughs> Stay on the line. I'm going to make some calls. Get to the bottom of the spark thing. What the hell? What's she posted on Jabber? Today is going to be an interesting day. I can feel it. Well, you don't post on Jabber for three months, and then all of a sudden, haven't seen you for a while. Where have you been? Yeah, where have you been? It's not like you to miss Jim. I am fine. Just got caught up with work. That is all. Going to take a short break. Don't worry about me. Yeah, today is going to be an interesting day, isn't it? Okay. Hey, stranger. Anything? Anna posted something on Jabber. Looks like she's chilling at home. I guess she's all right. Wish that was true. You know. Maybe you're overthinking it. Maybe she just wanna be left alone. Oh my god. You did a pun. 
Well, no wonder you're single. <laughs> Fine. I work on my puns a bit more. So what happened exactly? Did Greg check her house or something? What about the post? Uh... He did, but I'm, I'm gonna say he did, but no sign of her. I'm not gonna... Maybe I'll tell him about the strange noise. I don't know. I don't have called her phone by now if she is okay. And somehow she makes a post at exactly the same time as when Greg is checking in on her. Doesn't sound a bit strange to you? Occam's razor. Oh, wow. That's so... Yeah, that's a weird typo. Um... What? Wait, hang on. The simplest answer is most often correct. Okay. The easiest answer is most often right. That's not true. The obvious answer is most often It must be the first one. I don't know. So let's say, hypothetically, there's a possibility that Greg somehow did something bad to Anna. And he's hiding it from you. Why are you sowing distrust here just a random thought what if anna is deliberately trying to get away from greg maybe he bombarded her with calls and messages to the point where she just went screw it and chucked the phone away that is that is actually a pretty sound theory why, why, why would you say that, though? What, what gives you... I got my reasons. But think about it. What kind of person Greg is. Yeah, that's true. I mean... I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drop this info. I haven't given him much to work with, but... If they are indeed lovebirds, at most, he won't have the keys. But getting blocked is a strong word. Maybe she's keeping him away. Stop it. It's like the game just throws it in there. I don't know why. I guess to make you scared. Um, I'm going to say this too. I don't think he did it. But I think there's more to it. I think he's hiding something big in the phone. Otherwise, why would he want to delete the phone's data? I don't, I don't think he did it. I don't think he did. I think it's too obvious. It said every guilty person ever. Wait, so you think I'm guilty? Why would a guilty person say that? Okay, that's kind of a dick. Anna's a pretty sweet gal. Why would she date someone like him? From uh, being verbally abusive is not far from being physical. Ah. Uh, all I'm saying is I think there is more to Greg than he is leading on. Again, hypothetical. What else he told you? Um, you actually met Anna. If I met her, our, our job will be done. And I wouldn't be talking to you right now. That is true. He did just kind of start talking. I, I believe you. Whatever. I believe you. Yeah. I would never hide anything from you. I don't believe that. I don't, okay, I, I don't trust him anymore. I don't trust him. I trusted you before you said that shit. I think before we move on, you need to confront him, call him out. I would love to. I got a new batch of phone stuff to look at. I've already looked at it, so. Great, he's hiding something, I can feel it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know about the cheating. If you're listening to Anna, we need to know what it is. Remember to get your facts straight and ask him about his actions and behavior. Maybe he'll slip up and tell you something we don't know. Okay. No, that's, that's true, though. So, Greg. What? Let's talk, <laughs> let's talk about your attitude. Let's talk about your... <laughs> what about my attitude? I have no time to deal with your feelings right now. You are verbally abusive. I'm really stressed out over here, okay? I'm not sugarcoating anything for you. Just deal with it. 
Maybe she's running from an abuser. Oh, the fuck! The fuck! <laughs> are you are you implying that I'm abusing her? Jesus, I've never physically harmed Anna. Ever. End of discussion. No, it's not the end of discussion, actually. Why why did she block you then? I'm not saying I'm not saying that she that you you know. But don't don't say don't say it like it's a foregone conclusion. Let's look at the facts. Let's look at the facts. I'm Greg. She didn't show up for work and she's not at home. Is she hiding their job and family as well? She is missing, not running. Let's talk about Anna's place. What about Anna's place? Did you activate the phone reset? I told you I didn't do anything. Uh huh. Are you calling me a liar? If I want the phone erased, why the hell do I back up the phone for you? We'll come back to this. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, we we still got Mark talking. Damn it! Oh my God! It swaps it. Okay. Another random thought. What if Greg killed Anna? All right, I don't like you anymore. Well, maybe kill is a strong word, but what if he hurt her or something and tried to cover it up and all you hear from him is a lie? Huh? Huh? This is tough. This is rough. Um, wait, did, did you back up the phone for me? I'll just say that's true. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Hello, I'm looking for Anna. I believe this is her number. Hello? Hi. Uh, I think this is the answering machine. I'll just leave a message first. This is Detective Marillo from the police department. We received a report from one of your neighbors she mentioned that there was a suspicious looking guy entering and exiting your residence. Can you confirm if this is true? Call us if you wish to report a burglary. Thank you and good day. Let's talk about your relationship with Anna. What is there to talk about us? Why did she block you from her apartment? We had fight, okay? How would I know she would block me? You're trying to block me, right? What's your style? I just need to check if she is at home. Okay, um... I just need to check if she's at home. Sounds like a troubled relationship. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't like either of these guys. I, don't, I do think that Taylor is more sinister than Greg, potentially. Couples fight all the time. Nothing a good talk can't solve. I can agree with that, though. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Can't say the same for her. <laughs> What's with all these accusations? Make your point. I'm not going to accuse him of being involved, because I don't think he is. I'm just asking, though. I'll just say just asking. If that's the case, that is all I'm going to tell you. Stop making this about... B and make this about Anna. You have nothing on me. So if you want to start pointing fingers, make sure you have proof. I mean, I didn't see him slip up at all here. And I tried to kind of get a little aggressive with him and I don't think he... I mean, maybe I'm missing it, but I don't think he slipped up. And I think if he had, then there would have been the option to confront him. Yeah, why are you so defensive? Why are you so intrusive? Because I have a fucking phone! I'm not going to entertain any more questions about my life. You have nothing on me. He keeps saying, he keeps saying that though. He keeps saying you have nothing on me. Like there's something to have on him, you know? 
What if I didn't? What if I just went on living a lie? And he can do it, looking me dead in the eyes. God, and he hasn't stopped texting me since. What, what does that mean? Does he still love me? Then why would he, you know what? I hope it's positive. I hope she's pregnant. Yeah, he always wanted a family. Now everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. Except you. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. Uh. He left. You have nothing on me. He said that. He said that twice. He said that here, and he said that here. It's interesting. Okay. Guess what, Taylor? I found out some more. Some more stuff. Now, listen, Taylor, I think... I'm not buying this whole I'm a good guy charade. Caught red-handed or red-fingered could because it's in text. Haha. <laughs> okay, that sounded weird now that I typed it out. Who is the unlucky girl? Yolanda, let's go. Let's go. Let's start spilling the beans. Exotic name? You know, that sounds like motive to me. Messy breakup, fight, things got, got a little violent. Who knows? I think you should call her and ask her if she knows anything about Greg. Like a second opinion, get it straight from the source. So what happens if we say... Hmm. Let's just say, nah. Hey. Let's see what he says. I think it's time to give him what he deserve. Remember, we are here for Anna. This is necessary. Find Yolanda. Find the truth. Okay, so it doesn't matter that I said, I don't want to do it. I just want to see how he would respond. I want to see how he would respond to me being uncooperative. Like, I've been uncooperative with him previously, but things weren't this serious. Okay, let's look through... Does she, does she have Yolanda in her contacts? All right, let's call Ferris and Kane. Because we have her extension. Welcome to Ferris and Kane, your personal shopper directory. Press one to request. Welcome to Ferris and Kane. Okay, we can't put in the extension here. Shopper directory. We gotta navigate through Press the one phone directory. To request for a shopper. Yeah, sure. Thank you. To help us select a personal shopper for you, please indicate what you would like to purchase. Press one for robes and cloaks. Press two. For dresses. Sure. If you know the extension number here we go, of here we go, here we go. shopper. Thank you. Your personal shopper assigned to you is Yolanda. Yeah, it is. Due to our increasing demand, we can only take a limited amount of clients at a time. After this call, please wait for us to text you at our latest convenience. Text. Thank you for picking Ferris and Kane. Have a nice have a nice day. Okay. All right. Hi, hi, Yolanda. I need to talk to you about something. You will be my shopper today. I mean, wait, what? Yeah. Okay. How many you assist me? I'm not here for shoes. Perhaps you keyed in the wrong extension. No, 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 no. I want to talk to you about Greg. <sighs> Greg Summers. Yeah. Who is this? What did that asshole put you up to? Okay, so she doesn't like Greg either. That's good. <gasps> All right. He's caught up in some bad shit. So we both agree on something. <laughs> so he ruined your life too. What else is new? He ruined your life? Look, if you're looking for dirt on Greg, I am not getting involved with him again. He just broke into Anna's apartment. Let's say that. We'll say that. Whoa. Hold up. Time out. Are you telling this right? <sighs> I might have exaggerated a little. Oh, I see it now. If you're implying that he actually did something, Dana, I highly doubt it. I do too. I do too. He didn't even have the balls to break up with me face to face. 
He's too chicken shit to be a criminal. Okay. So you two dated. So it was more than just... More like a side girl booty call. That's what I thought it was. Okay. Okay. So he, he cheated. I don't know. We already knew this, though. I am all in for some casual fun. But having a girlfriend all this time, that's a low blow. When she found out about me, all hell broke loose. And I ended up being the other girl. Right. Um... Did he get violent? God, no. Yeah, see, I, I didn't buy that. He's not the hitting kind. What? Brandon, who the hell are you? When it comes down to making a choice, of course, he went for Anna. And I get the half-assed voicemail. Brack up! Okay, well, we'll listen to it. Hey, Yolanda. I got your text. So, you know, now that the scare is over, I think we should stop seeing each other. Oh, my God. Like, immediately. Oh. It's not just that it's, you know, it's been fun, but I haven't been completely honest with you. I have a girlfriend, and I want to make things work with her. We agreed to keep it casual, right? I hope you're not mad or anything, eh? Huh? No hard feelings. Oh, what a, what a, what an asshole. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. What is this? I miss the days where opinions can only go as far as you can yell. Okay, then delete your account, Brandon. And more than 140 characters. Okay, well, it's 280 now. What? Okay, so let's say something. It all makes sense now. Okay, so I don't think Greg did anything. You have your dirt now. So are we done? At the end of the day, he still cares about her. Yeah, I know. If only he knows how to show it. Now everyone thinks I'm a, I'm a bad person. It's not your fault. I, I don't blame you, Yolanda. If I knew he had a girlfriend, I would have stopped him immediately. Stupid me. I hope that was helpful. I gotta get back to work now. Okay, bye. Okay, make sure that Ashley never finds out about Anna's disappearance. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. Okay, so we have dirt now. What did you do? Seriously, where's your head at? You wanna just call me? <laughs> I need to clear something up. <laughs> no. I don't care about your excuses. You have crossed a line. Yeah, we have no choice but to work with me because I have her phone. She is pissed and confused and you brought her into this mess. Had to be sure, because you weren't exactly giving me many details. My personal affairs has nothing to do with you. Yes, it does, because I have her fucking phone. whoop de doo I cheated on Anna. Now that it's out in the open, would you stop digging into my life and get back on track? Fine. Just stop and use your head for just one second. The personal insults are, insults are not necessary. Have you ever considered that what's-his-face from Spark is just... Sticking you around? Come on, what do you really know about him? Nothing. No, I... He did sidetrack the investigation. A bit. But I think he was just trying to help, but who knows. So pointing the finger at me was his idea all along. And you said that I'm the one with things to hide. What? I'm... What? You think I have something to hide? You don't know You don't know anything about me. You've ne you haven't even asked anything about me. So that's kind of your fault if you don't know who you're talking to. What kind of nutcase will joke about someone going missing? It's like he lacks any kind of empathy. I won't be surprised if he had some kind of criminal record. Yeah, you guys keep putting the blame at each other. I don't think either of you are responsible. I think it's somebody from the security company. That's what I think. Uh, he's just eccentric. I won't say he's a nice guy. Well, I'm not taking any chances with him. Look what I found. Spark-related crimes soar as increasing number of felons use dating apps to target victims. Okay, let's take a look at this. Let's see. Dating apps have been linked to more than 500 crimes in and almost a third are sex offenses, figures show. Let's see. More than 500 people have been the alleged victims of crimes. Uh, da -da -da. 
James Sutton is the chief executive of the National Sex Felon website. NSFW. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? That's a pun. It's a database. Access to registered sex offenders. Let's fucking... Let's do this. <laughs> no record found. Okay. Um, right. What's his, uh... What's his name? Taylor... Uh, well, what was it? What was it? Jeez. Okay. Hang on, we got a new vlogger. What is it? Love is being there. Love is being honest. Love is being, belonging, love is patience, love is What is love? It hurts. Love is hurt. Love is pain. Sorry. <laughs> I'm filling in the blanks. Okay. Maybe, does he have his full name on here? Taylor. Say Taylor. Uh, I wonder if he has his full name on here. Let's see. Let's take a look. Um, Taylor Pereira. That's right. Let's take a look. Uh, or was it? Surfer? What the? Hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Okay, hang on. Come on. Let's get back to it. Damn it. Why did it take me out? Okay. Ta Taylor Pereira. More information required. His age is, it's what, 22? Found six matches. Location. Fuck. What can I? Oh. I swear to God, there's like no good way to bring it back up. Okay, location. Where are you? Fine Studios. Where is that? Um. Does he talk about it? He's offline, so we can't talk to him. Maybe he says it on his jabber. Right? Uh, let's see. Let's see, anyone in war on drugs? <laughs> I got a scolding for that. Okay, maybe he says, let's see. Springwood, where is that? Springwood. I don't need to know the state. I just need to know, okay, Springwood, okay. 22 Springwood. Let's get back in there. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's <laughs> hard to get back to it. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe there's a way to just bring it back up and I just haven't uh, uncovered it. Okay, so 22 Springwood. Don't tell me there's more information. Look up. Record found. Achievement unlocked. The internet never forgets. Open and gross lewdness and lascivious behavior. Indecent exposure and public sexual indecency. That's not very... Excuse you. Yeah, sounds horrible. Okay, let's get to it. So, I did find something. You said that Anna matched with several people on Spark? 
Anna's notebook mentioned that she met someone. I can feel it. We are getting close. I think both of you are distracting. Punch in all the names of her spark matches. See what you can find. All the names? That's a lot. All right. No records found for any of these guys. Uh, I don't know if Mark is going to have anything. He doesn't have a last name anyway. And I think he's just kind of a dead-end conversation like Stephanie. I searched the rest of these guys, nothing. Um, so let's talk to Taylor. Okay. Let's talk about you though, buddy. That's weird, I called him buddy, right? As he called me buddy. Let's see. He's a lover, not a fighter. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, not the violent type. Taylor, I guess my theory about Greg making Anna disappear is too far-fetched. He's clean, I guess. You sure Greg didn't let anything slide? Can your source even be trusted? Let's see. Um, you're sidetracking us all. Hey. Greg is keeping something about Anna. I can feel it. Um... What did he ever do to you? Nothing. I just think that I should be the one who saves Anna. I mean, he is my competition after all. How can I compete with an ex? It's like he views this as a competition and she's a prize to be won. This is not a contest. I know, I know. I started as jealousy. But I really think that guy is a nut job. And he's hiding some dark stuff. I know, but... Like you? Huh? Oh! You didn't find anything, did you? If you have something to say, spill it. You've been a naughty boy. <laughs> Registered sex offender. Shit. I knew it. You found the damn registry, didn't you? I know it looks really bad. A guy on Spark being a sex offender is as bad as it gets. You hear me out, please. Game over, fuckface. You have five seconds. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll make it quick. Go! Keep it short. So, TLDR. It was all a misunderstanding. Right. Someone caught me with my pants down in a public place. End of story. I changed my mind, tell me more. Yeah, yeah, well, okay, we need we need more details. I didn't mean that short. Okay, so I was at a mall and I had like a huge glass of iced tea right before and I got a pee real bad. The bathroom was closed on the floor I was on and the next one was really far away. And then? So I went to the stairway and peed there. Oh my god. And this lady with her kid came through the door. I was exposed. Next thing you know, lawyers were involved and I was charged. So it was an accident. You gotta believe me. You can technically call me a criminal. But I would never harm another person. Come on, you can trust me. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Said every guilty person ever. <laughs> uh, I just I just threw your own thing back at you, that's all. I'm not, I know it sounds weird, but this is not about me now. I had to follow so many strict rules from the NSFW that I am practically branded. Did you know how hard it is to find a job? Uh can always lie about it. <laughs> nope. No way. I'm not pushing my luck. If I mess up, it's straight to jail for me. I would never do anything remotely illegal. So let's keep this between you and me, eh? It's a real conversation starter. <laughs> Don't play with me on this. I'm serious. I mean, we're gonna tell Greg. We, we know that. Okay. Make sure that Ashley never finds out about Anna. Okay. Wait, what? I can't believe you actually did. I just told you not to tell anyone. Uh, I didn't, I didn't do, what? 
He added me on Jabber. Oh, he's definitely pissed. How the hell did he find me? Eh, I might have told him about you. <laughs> God damn it. Oh shit, he added me on his phone. Greg created this group busted. Taylor, got you now, you sex maniac. What the? Who is this? How the hell you got my number? Shut up, rebound guy. I am the one Anna should be with. This is so exhausting. You stay out of this. Greg? It's about time you all work this out. <laughs> well, let's just watch them fight. How the hell you get my number? The internet is a resourceful place, especially for fighting pervs like you. Wow, from cheating to stalking. Can someone hand him the best boyfriend of the year award? What I do in my private life is none of your business. You're the one who drove her away in the first place. How about I drive my foot up your dick hole? Wow, that would really hurt. Uh, I think you guys are missing the point. We were all on point until shit for brains showed up. <laughs> Look, man, Anna wanted to move on. Why can't you respect that? She would be better with literally anyone else but you. So Mr. I can't keep my pants up is somehow an acceptable choice for her. At least I don't have a criminal record. That's a low blow, man. Wait, what? But he, but Taylor, you're Mr. I can't keep my pants up. Am I missing something? <laughs> you're literally, I can't keep my pants up. All right, enough. I'm only adding you here to be a witness, so shut it. What the hell did you do to Anna? If you touch her. I like how no one is questioning me. No one is putting suspicions on me. Like, I have her phone. No one's even asked me. How can I do anything if I haven't even met her yet? She mentioned that she is meeting someone from Spark on her notebook. Have you ever considered that there are literally millions of other lonely single men out there? Of course I didn't. I'm starting with you. That is not working smart. I just want her back. I think Anna would like that. <laughs> There's a smarter way to do this. We are wasting time here. Yeah, we certainly are. Now that you made it so clear, don't we all want the same thing? Same thing. Different reasons. Stop. Shut it, Anna. Finally, we are agreeing on something. No, I'm not agreeing with you. You're the one that accused me and threw everything off. Hey, it's not my fault that she left you. This is going on. This is going on a little long. We are all partly to be blamed. Let's be equal about it. Debatable. If you're going to be like this, then fine. I can prove that I didn't meet Anna. Fan-fucking-tastic. Show me. My spark messages. It's all there. It will prove that Anna and I never planned to meet. He's telling the truth. No. I want to see it with my own eyes. Can you be any more insecure? Her phone. She cleared some data not long ago. I don't know, why isn't Greg like, let's meet up? Person with the phone, give me her phone and I'll get it back to her. Why? See, she backed it up on her own computer and the one at work. If I can access to it, I will have all the proof I need. Whoa, I think you're onto something. If we do that, we might be able to know who she met on Spark. Damn, that's true. Finally, focus on what matters. You guys done fighting? No. <laughs> yes. What? Ah, Taylor. Not until I see the messages. Jez, fine. Maybe we can somehow call her office. Ask around for help. Get someone to get to her computer or something. What kind of shitty idea is that? I say I will just walk right in and get it done myself. I don't think so, Greg. It's going to be easy. What? What? Let's call her office. Excellent. Walk right in. Maybe she has friends that we can trick into getting to her computer. We've wasted enough time already. <sighs> I'm not playing charades to get something that important. Are you doubting me? I'm just proposing alternatives. Okay. Both of you have good points. I honestly, I like, I'm trying to just get them to calm down because I'm just, I don't want to discuss this anymore. I'm done listening to you. I'm just going to walk in and get the job done. Plain and simple. 
That's too reckless. Let's find a more indirect way in and just call one of her work friends. I know her better. She has no work friends. And what makes you think you can use her computer so easily? Oh, frick. Here we go. All right, let's go. Let's side with Greg here. We had to make a choice. That's what I am talking about. Oh, come on. You and I both know it won't work. Why don't you trust my plans? I'm not playing games with you jokers anymore. Do as you please. I'm going anyways. But we're making so much progress. I am not working with the rebound guy. I'm going to find Anna by myself. Go get the backup from her, her workplace your way. I'll do mine. I swear. If she did end up meeting you, you won't hear the end of it. Oh, you left. I don't understand this guy. Okay, so that just happened. That was <laughs> unexpected. What? Look, sorry for the outburst. It's not meant for you. I just want to make things right. And I got to do it on my own. Like, if we met under other circumstances, maybe we would have got along. I doubt it, but there is a possibility. There, I said it. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> there, I said it. What? So... Like, there's the potential we may have been, like, friendly to each other in other circumstances. Why is that so hard? For there, I said it. Why is that such a big deal for you to say? Why do I need to hear that? Look for your missing girlfriend. Or ex-girlfriend. A lead is a lead. We need to know who is Anna Close with at work. Did you manage to check her emails? If you can read them all, that'd be great. I did. Uh, there's a guy who was harassing her. Harassment. Nailed it. We can use this. Yeah, Merv. Are you up for some blackmail? Use that email against him. Tell him that you are turning him in. Threaten him. Make him feel bad. I don't know. Ask him to do your bidding in exchange for the harassment email. Okay. Uh, let's do it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. If he's in the contacts, get started. Uh... What the hell? Oh, it works. <laughs> sorry, sorry. N no need to respond. I uh, just want to try to call Anna's phone, see if it's working. Been trying to get it, and I, I finally did. I guess next is to find her? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye. Eh, maybe he's just a weird goober. I decided not to call Victor back. You remember him, right? Uh, the guy from the club? Yeah, I remember. I remember Victor. I'm thinking he's just not right for me. Don't feel a connection, you know? Yeah, forget about him. Am I too picky? Is there something wrong with me? We'll just, we'll just leave her hanging on that real quick. Let's see. Ah, what the fuck? Let's see. Hello, lover boy. Anna, where have you been? Everyone's been looking for you. Oh, I'm fine, baby. Huh? What's gotten into you? I can't stop thinking about your email. So you down for that? You thought about your dress size? I need a favor first. Anything, baby. Oh my god. So creepy! What is your command? Oh! <laughs> what is your command? I already know what this dude looks like. Alright, can you restore my phone data for my PC? I need you to get a phone backup for my PC. No problem. I'll just walk over to your desk and just give me your password. What's in it for me then? Maybe you can measure it with your bare hands. Oh, Jesus. 
Uh, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god! What is the password? Fuck. Something wrong with me. Anna, listen. Your problems are not special. I love you just the way you are. Love you too. Okay, cool. We should totally get together soon, okay? And she's offline, and that's it. Okay, what is my... Is it... Is it 1807? It's incorrect. <laughs> Did you forget it or something? <laughs> oh no, he's figured it out! You're not Anna, aren't you? Fuck, I should have known. I actually don't know what the password was. Okay, we are done. No, 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 no. I'm gonna threaten you. Uh, your flirting methods deserve to be published. <laughs> Blackmail. Is that what's happening? You know I can get sued for sharing company secrets, right? If you still want to access Anna's computer, I am not doing it. Uh, how about I send your emails to HR then? No, 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 no. Okay, I will do it. That was easy. It's hard to hold this job in this economy as it is. I need to get a password reset for her PC. But HR will text her phone to verify. Oh, that's convenient. You have to pretend to be Anna, otherwise they'll never give me access. I'm a pro. I know what to do. You've done this before. Jeez. Just make it quick, okay? Don't jeez me, Merv. Okay. Hi, Anne. Got your password reset request, but I didn't see you in today. Is everything okay? Uh... I know you were assigned to servicing today. I must have missed something. Before I reset your password, can I run something by you first? What is it? You know the report you handed to me last week? I finally got to it. Uh oh. And the result? I got some good news and bad news. I don't know. It says here that you're making an official sexual harassment report against Merv. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> I brought this up with my manager. And he told me to tell you to seriously think about this. Our company can't afford to get into a scandal right now. And sending lewd emails while technically is reportable is one of the smaller offense. That's ridiculous. No, 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 no. Fuck this. His words, not mine. I know. Elizabeth, you seem like a precious cinnamon roll. I don't hold anything against you. So he suggests you drop the report while he will have a talk with Merv, put all behind, and he might approve that study leave you've been meaning to get. Okay, the boss is a dick. Let's start the controversy. Let's start the scandal. Forcing Mr. Faraday's hand is just going to upset him. Good, I hope, he ups I hope he's upset. Send the report. I hope he is upset, if you insist. Okay, consider it done. Personally, I think you're doing the right thing. Oops. Oh, ops, almost forgot. I just reset your password. See you at the barbecue. All right, listen, Merv, I, uh, why are you so sad, Anna? Got the reset and I'm in. Good. Merv, what you're here for? Yeah, yeah, get the phone back up, right? Give me a sec. I hope Merv doesn't find out. It's starting now. Gonna take a while to complete. Uh-oh. I don't understand what's going on, but you're not the only one who wants access to this computer. Someone else? While I'm waiting for the reset, some dude came by demanding to use Anna's computer. Caused quite a scene and security took him away. I think his name was Greg. Is he with you? Wait, hang on. Wait, hang on. Let me just get... What were you thinking, Anna? I told you! <laughs> 
<laughs> Sacrifices must be made in the interest of the company. I am now certain you can only think for yourself. We are in the midst of renewing the contract of our biggest client, and now that Merv is under investigation, they are pulling out. Of that you are happy. All you have to show for is shoddy work, delayed submissions, multiple day offs, and now missing work days. Now this. I just had about enough of you. I'm giving you two choices. Come by my office and accept my official warning letter and leave a stain on your career or hand over your resignation letter. Fuck you. Fuck this guy. This video is definitely demonetized. I've, I've said, like, fuck you a bunch of times. <laughs> I might know him. Well. Getting him in was not part of the deal. Your friend is going to regret, regret doing that. Finally, it's done. Did you get it? System restore. Ashley recovered, I will leave you be. James recovered, that's the guy. That's the Arlner Ar Ar or whatever. Shut the fuck up, Merv. What happened? Oh no, it's this again. It's Ulner. Yeah, it's James. That's his name. Have you found her yet? Uh, getting closer. Okay. Uh, let's see, you, wait, hurry, time is running out, uh, she too need of you, wait, 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 need to hurry, time is running out, um, you need to hurry, She is running out of time. Oh, I got it. I got it backwards. Okay, okay, okay. So this is it. She is running out of time. You need to hurry. Okay. Um, I'm doing my best here, okay? You keep interrupting. Holding on to this is not easy. The answer is in Spark. Okay. I will try, I'll try to get in there, okay? I have a restore happening right now. How do I know what to look for? She met me. She met me. She met it. I'm not it. It is not me. Find me, find it. Is she still alive? Time is short. If you fail, you will share my fate. Oh, she will share my fate. Okay. Well, I'll try. I'll freaking try, okay? Okay. The eyes get bigger and then they go out? What the hell? What is... She's smiling now. Damn it. It froze for a bit. Did you get the backup? Hang on, Merv. I gotta read. I gotta read. All oh, these recovered ones from Ashley. Like we talked about, just get on Spark. I don't know. Okay, let's just say. I will make your profile for you. Okay. Let's see what she said. Come on. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fun. I'll take care of everything, okay? I'm gonna make your profile so good that even you would date yourself. And I think it's time to unleash the, hey, my eyes are up here dress. Haha, uh -huh. you're not going back to Greg's, so what's the harm? Hmm, hmm, you can come to my place tomorrow. We can swipe, but I don't feel like going out. I'm excited to see Toby, she says. Haha, -ha, I'll text you later. Did you get Spark? No, I don't know if I really want to. I, I don't know if I really want to. I know I could date, but... It feels like those apps are just objectifying anyway. Dismissing people like an emperor at the Coliseum. Except, I guess they get no chance to fight because you're just looking at some stranger's selfies wondering if that's really their dog or if his ex took the photo. 
hey, is this supposed to be fun? We're not looking for your husband, just like visual stimulus. Bleh. Sorry. Bleh. Blurgs extend tiny mouths that also blurg, like alien. Oh, baby. I should just focus on getting out of this dumb job. Maybe. So on the 8th of August. Hi, see you later today, okay? Anna, answer me. Crap! Sorry, 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 sorry. Almost there, okay? I was doing an errand and it turned into a longer thing than I thought. Just stay put at the door. I'll, I'll be there soon. Hmm. 10th of August. So, how is boy hunting? Um, oh, you dog. Shut up, shut up. There's this guy, okay? I don't want to jinx it. She's talking about Taylor. He. So what's he like? I will tell you next time, okay? I might meet him. Oh, don't make this a big deal. Okay, okay. As you are, as you are. As as hard as it is for you to believe, I'm going to wait patiently. Liar. LOL, shut up. I will leave you be. Okay. Very uneventful back up there, but there's ton. Look at all this. Whoa, no, she wasn't talking about Taylor. She was talking about James. Look at this. 166? Hang on, let's, let's, let's keep, uh... Let's let Mark off the hook. It's a joke. Take it easy. So what you up to? You won't believe me if I told you. Sounds exciting. Try me. Trying to find a missing person. What? Wait. Is this a prank? Am I on a live stream or something? Don't you have anything better to do? That's it. I'm done. You've been reported for negative attitude. Achievement unlocked, looking for love. Been reported? You won't believe him if I told you. Sounds exciting, try me. All I said was I'm trying to find a missing person. And then, <laughs> he goes off. Mark sucks. We'll, we'll talk to James in a second. Okay, look at this. Look at this crap. This entire email is in the subject line and it's all in caps. That's just rude. Like, internet rude. God, and my dumb colleague won't stop texting me. But would not. <laughs> oh God, I cannot wait to leave there and work with animals. Yeah, because animals don't treat me like garbage. Still waiting on my vet school application though. Hope I get it. Okay, neat. Let's go back. So we've got three more videos to watch. One of is 92% done, all right. Let's check the email. Weekly sparkles. Okay. I don't really care much about this. That's uninteresting. Uh, yeah, I got it. Have fun being reported. I did everything you told me. Can I go now? I trust you're going to keep my chest and a secret. Sorry, creep, you're done for. What? You fucking fuck! Achievement unlocked. That is not a compliment. <laughs> Got him. Okay, let's see. Oh no, Greg said, fuck, shit. I think I'm in trouble. I went to Anna's workplace. Something bad happened. Okay, hang on. I should have said I didn't know who he was. Um, let's see. Let's, let's read this. Okay. Let me guess, cat person. Let's take a look at your profile. Just the right amount of awkward. James Ulner, so that's his last name. Works at Fresh Ideas. I've been called metrosexual, but it's not what you think. I am not attracted to trains. Very funny. Likes pets and animals, indoors, moving on, finding love in books. Interesting, so, whoa, what the hell? There's lots of encrypted shit in there. Let's get to the top, let's get to the top. Well, there's a lot to read, guys. There's a lot to read. Holy shit. Let me guess. Cat person. Too easy. Bet you get that wrong half the time. Got it right every time so far. Haha, <laughs> how many times is that? Once. Another spark newbie. LOL. Good thing you showed up. It was starting to get dull. What? Can't find any matches? Heh <laughs> For real? This is your first chat on Spark? I have some. By that I mean one. That can't be true. It is. Cross my heart. What's wrong with her, lol? I'd rather talk about you. Huh, <laughs> sorry, just new to this. Got some really, really strange matches. Oh dear, hope you're, hope I'm doing all right so far. I'll take normal over anything at this point. Wait, and then this is the next day? Yeah, next day. Good morning. What are you doing up so early? I'd ask you the same thing. Work starts at seven for me. Yikes, yup. S-O-M-L. 
shit out of my luck? Oh no, Merv is- Merv is mad. Fuck off my life. <laughs> I'll- I'll read your salty texts in a second, Merv. What do you do? You'll never guess. What? Surveillance tech. Funny, you don't seem like the techie. Oh. Cause I'm a woman? Is that why? I'm not. How about you? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm a copywriter. Taylor, slow your fucking roll. I'm on it, okay? I am a copywriter. That's, I used to be a copywriter. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Sounds crappy. Wait, 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 wait. Making stuff sound better than it looks. Wait. Well, and where's crappy fit in? I am a copywriter. Making crappy stuff sound better than it looks. Okay. That's that's what I used to do, guys, before I did YouTube full time. Um Yeah, I did that for like uh, three or four years before doing this full time. You must be a smooth texter then. Only when it comes to seducing corporate clients. Yeah, right. Unless you worked for a small ad firm, uh, you wouldn't be really talking much to clients. I mean, you'd be presenting work, but you wouldn't be the one seducing them. That's for the that's for the account girls. The 22-year-old blonde account girls. That's their job. Okay. Lol. You still with them? It didn't work out. So have you ever thought about putting on power suits and writing for big brands? Uh, let's see. My position at Fresh Ideas is still open. Fresh Ideas. Oof. Okay. Fresh Ideas. Your problems are solution. Let's take a look. That's such a... Ad agency tagline. So this is basically, this is a digital shop that I worked at. Interesting, it seems like they only do digital. I think I will pass. That's where it is though. That's where it's at, that digital agency. Why stick around? Why stick around? Where? Your job, you hate it, right? Oh, yeah, how'd you know? Just making a guess. You got me. You think I should just quit? Totes. Oh. So I'll just walk up to my boss and say, hey, I don't want money. Okay, thanks, bye. I'm not kidding, Anna. If it's not right for you, just walk away, like you did with your previous guy. OMG, how did you know? Spark is Rebound City, for most people anyway. I just took a guess. You stalking me? Let's see. You have an unnatural talent of guessing my backstory. It's true. The first thing he said was, uh, cat person. Didn't have to, Anna. You're an open book and so easy to read. I just connected the dots. Okay. It's starting to be a little creepier now. Okay, smart guy. What else can you read? I think you should just take a break from everything. From the job you hate, from your previous guy, whatever happened. Take a vacay and start new. That's so what I need right now. For a guy I barely met. How come you know so much about me? Call it intuition. Is this the phone? Is this, is James the phone? The next day. This is, um, well, yeah, this is over 24 hours later. So how much of an ass is he? Who? Lol. The guy you dumped. You really want to know? Let's trade. Tell me about the first spark girl. You really want to know? You started it. Fair enough. When I first started out, let's see, I matched. Oh, Cassie. That's that girl that, um, that's that girl that, uh, Anna follows on uh, Tumblr, not Tumblr, Twitter, whatever this thing, Jabber, that thing. Okay, I matched uh, with this girl, Cassie, also known as, wait, wait, wait. Girl named Cassie, also known as Keeping It Cassie. Let's see, how, let's, let's let her uh, freak out here. She's cool, but she's like some big social media person or something. I'm not a fan of the attention. No way. So you passed a Jabber celebrity? Are you even real? Told you, too much attention. You're weird. Good weird? Good weird. So, boy problems. I'll give you one guess what he did. He cheated on you. Yep, typical. I know, right? 
Were there any signs? That's the thing. None. Zero. I guess sometimes you can never tell. Or is it just me? Am I blind? Hey, don't say that. Maybe he was good to you. So you saw the good parts of him, of anybody. And that makes you good. Wow, did you just make that up? Is it working? <laughs> You're something else, James. I'll take that as a compliment. Keep that up, and I'll let you see the good parts of me. You did not. Okay, if we keep talking, I'm going to miss work. Speak soon. You should totally record yourself quitting your job. You don't sleep, do you? Chang with you is more fun. Recording myself quitting isn't, though. You inspired the generation, Anna. Haha. <laughs> I'm not inspiring anybody, lol. I want to go back to school first. College? Ah, uh, which kind? Vet. Now that sounds more like you. It does, lol. Totally. Which one are you going to? Applied for UC but got rejected. Bastards. Tell you what, I'll teach you how to apply for colleges like a pro. Isn't it just filling up forms? Lol. Hey, I'll write you a kick-ass application. How? Okay, I'll see. Uh, meet me this weekend and I'll show ya. Smooth. Okay, let's see. Fine, but you better be actually useful. I can think of a few things we can use. Huh, like what? Depends on my mood. Fine, I'll find out myself. Saturday night, 7 p.m., uptown. You're lucky that's good timing for me. See ya. See ya soon? Be there in an hour. I'm here, where are you? I see you. That's the last. That's the last. So he's a freaking, this it's him. He said, find me, find her, right? Faraday safety. Statement, we are temporarily suspending our tech director due to sexual assault allegations. There will be an investigation. Jackie, we need to stand up against injustice like this. I'm glad that action has been taken. Another tech company scandal. This, this is a step forward. So just an allegation will get you suspended? What next? Gender separate office spaces? Puh, it's a slippery slope! This is still under investigation. I guess we will know soon. Okay. Um, let's see. I, I would write out like a funny comment, but... We just called to HR. We had a fucking deal. Should have known you were going to set me up. Fuck off my life. Okay, bye-bye, Merv. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, let's see... Something bad happened, right, because I accidentally kind of implied that you were there. Okay. Yo, 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 don't mean to rush, but it's been a while to do the blackmailing work. Okay, I got two conversations I got to keep up with. Let's go with Greg first. Um, you caused quite a scene. Yeah, fuck, I slipped up. How the heck I know that someone else will be at her computer? Could have asked me first. Why do I need permission from you to do do anything? Ugh, too late for that now. This is real bad. The cops are involved now. They also know about your break-in. How the hell did they know about that? Fuck. Must be that nosy granny next door. Do me a favor. Don't get the cops involved anymore. I cannot get another target on me. I will be arrested for sure. I don't want to obstruct justice. Hey. I am justice here. <laughs> I'm going to keep looking for Anna. Alone. You just stay quiet. Oh, boy. Your call is important to us. Please. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, can you hear me? This yes. is Detective Marillo from the police department. Again, one of your colleagues reported that someone is attempting an unauthorized access to your work computer to retrieve some sensitive information. Uh huh. This is a case of corporate espionage, and we have reason to believe that a man named Greg Summers is behind it. I'm informing you that your personal data has been compromised, and that Greg is now wanted for questioning. If you have any information on his whereabouts, please contact me on this number. Thank you, and good day. Yeah, I'll friggin', I'll friggin' call you. You just stay quiet. Do I have do I have anything on him? I I know where he is. Okay. I guess if we find if we find out more, we'll do it. Okay, did the blackmailing work? Went perfectly. Alright, Taylor. I'm on your side right now. We'll just find the past spark messages. Okay. Just write all of them and find out. 
Just read all of them and find out who did Anna meet with exactly. Make sure you get all of them. Anna met with James Allner. She sure did. James, huh? Sounds pretty normal, actually. <laughs> I would imagine the culprit to have a scarier name. Okay, I think this guy's just a goober. What else you got? Um, let's see. He's unnaturally good at guessing Anna's past. Sounds like stalker material to me. I wonder if there's a way to confirm this. He met keeping it Cassie before Anna. Yep. What a playa. She's like a Jabber celeb. Nope, she is all right. She looks active on Jabber. If we could somehow talk to her, maybe she can share what she knows about him. He also works at Fresh Ideas with a PH because why not? Yeah, that is a pretty cheesy name. You're right. Maybe somebody there can tell us what's up with him. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, I can feel it too. That's why I like to hear. You got the most resources to figure out who this James person is. I think you need to track this Cassie person down and call his workplace. Dig a little more about him, okay? I'll, I'll track Cassie first. Okay, you know, we could split this. You could call the workplace. I will give Spark a call. Maybe there's something on this James person, okay? I don't think Greg is gonna talk to me anymore. I was like, as soon as I got the idea, like I could get him arrested. I wanted to try it, but I think I probably should have backed him up a little bit more. Something to think about. I fear the day that technology will surpass our human interaction. The world will have a generation of idiots. You posted this on Twitter, really? Says the guy who posted this on Jabber. Wait, Anna just said that. What? Apply cold water to burned area. Anna, where the heck are you? Oh, that's Ashley. Uh-oh. She might suspect something. We gotta keep her <laughs> we gotta keep her in the dark. By the way, we need to we need to charge our phone. It's been It's been bad. Okay. So Cassie. Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. See, there's an AMA, right? Is it happening like right now or publishing an article? I wish. How are we supposed to Let's see? Is there? Yeah, give zero fuck. Keep an eye on my upcoming posts. Find the hidden phone number. If you figured it out, just call me for your AMA with me. What? Okay. There are two sides to me. Okay. I think actually these are just, these are older. Uh, okay, this is the oldest one. Okay, so up here. So there's a hidden phone number. It's nine in the morning. So that's nine, two. Nine two three eight nine two three eight one nine two three eight one nine two three eight one four nine two three eight one four zero nine two three eight one four zero nine two three eight four zero Oh my god. That's cool. Hiya, this is Keepin' It Cassie. Congratulations! You figured out the secret number! As you know, you get to ask me one question for my upcoming AMA thread. So please be patient, as I will contact you on my next availability. We'll be texting you soon! Okay. That's a weird way to do an AMA. Wow, immediately. I guess you're not that busy. First come, first serve. So let me finish up with the earlier winners. I will get back to you once I'm done. Can't wait. Achievement unlocked. Ask her anything. Okay. All right. So. Wait. Oh, oh there she is. <laughs> it's your turn to AMA. Remember, you only get one question. Okay. 
Don't ask that because that could be the one question. I will keep it to one. Okay. Tell me more about James Ulmer. Say what? Him? How the hell do you know about him? He asked me, yes, yes, like three questions. He is a person of interest. <laughs> you want dirt on him or something? Why go through me? Don't you have normal questions to ask? Like, what do I think of climate change? <laughs> or the state of social media shaping consumerism? You know, normal questions. Uh, the A stands for anything. Ugh, fine. That's what you really want to know. Only two conditions first. Tell me why you need more info on him. Um... He is a key witness in a disappearance. Sweet Jeebus. I knew something was up. Okay. Well, what's the second condition? Oh God, I could have been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Nobody said anything about being kidnapped. They said, I said disappearance. Look, I'm not sure what you heard, but this sounds seriously effed up. If it's gonna help someone else, I will tell you everything. But this is between us. My second condition is that we keep this between us, okay? Okay. I, I can't promise you that. I can't. I can't. The no deal. Keeping it Cassie is close to 200,000 followers. I cannot let out until that happens. Wait. I will help you, but please keep this quiet until that happens. Your info could save a life. Oh my God. My longtime boyfriend, but I was dumped, so I went on Spark and chatted with a few guys to get over. That's why I met James. What? Why is, why is he talking about her? It's like if I was like, you know, harshly critical, has always been about horror games. You know, it's like, just talk in first person, you weirdo. Anything stand out? Nothing in the beginning, actually. Sorry, not fine. He was a real charmer. Seems to tell me all the right things. After coming off a shitty relationship, I was in a low place. He gave me some perspective and plenty of good advice. Then he started to get more things right about me. Ah, that's interesting. Sounds creepy to me. That is nothing. Wait till you hear this. He starts to text me exactly when I finish my work. I don't have a regular schedule. They change every week days even, but he somehow managed to text me at exactly the right time. There was a photo shoot that ended at 2 a.m. He texted me the moment the photographer called it a wrap. Does he ever sleep? That's interesting. I swear to God, if it's the phone. Um, that is weird. Keep going. Here's the final straw. He knew about the breakup. The beak up, rather. I worked my ass off to keep my relationship a secret for the sake of keeping it Cassie. And somehow, James knew. I confronted him and he told me he guessed it. Look. That's the last time I heard from him. Okay, can I just say something really quick about your jabber, Cassie? You say you have 200,000 followers, but let's take a look at how much engagement you get. Okay? Let's take a look. Where Where is it? Sorry, 371 likes on a three-month-old tweet about your AMA. 492. You got 200,000 followers. You should be getting at least 1K. Like, bare minimum. On everything you post. You could, take a, you could take a picture of, like, a shit you take in the toilet, and it should get 1K likes. Come on. Okay. So, did your online persona drove your boyfriend away? How the hell do you know about this? I just took a guess. Guessing exactly when I wake up and when I finish work, that is just plain creepy. Finding out about my jabbering boyfriend that is pure sorcery. No one else knows about this. Who the hell are you? Are my methods too uncomfortable? We are done. Interesting. 
Maybe your BF spilled the beans? He loved me and he respected my work. My separate lives can be quite a strain, but he would never do something like that to me. My separate lives? What, your Twitter persona and your real person? That's fucking stupid. Okay. It's Give me a break. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Just thinking about him makes my hair stand. Thanks for the AMA. <laughs> you know, I read somewhere that psychopaths try their best to fit in. I feel James is kind of like that. Hope you got what you need. There's something off about him. Yes, there is. Talk to Taylor about James' behavior. We also got to call James through his workplace. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got to deal with this. Wait, who the fuck? Who? Time to up my selfie game. Is that a fan? Wow. Get me out of this. Who's Cad? Who's that? OMG, I want one now. I don't get it. When she takes a selfie, there will be wind in her hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ashley. Okay, okay, okay. Of course. Remember when I told you to make a spark profile? Yeah, you made one for me. It made me realize something. Yeah, she didn't suspect anything because I fucking knew it. It was a defense mechanism for something. Something that I can't hide anymore. Ever feel like you could lie to yourself so much you end up lying to others? What's on your mind, babe? Here's the thing. Anna, you're the only bestie I ever had. I feel like I could tell you anything. And trust you with anything. Oh, uh, Ashley. I don't know. See, I thought having BFF is supposed to feel like this. But I think I'm confusing it with something else. Ashley, just tell me. I think, I think there's a reason why I could never get along with guys. Uh-huh. What is it? It's the same reason why I hated seeing you go out with Greg or anyone else. Get put two and two together, fake Anna. I'm just going to cut to the chase, okay? I love you. I have feelings for you. There, I said it. You don't have to respond. You can ignore this if you want and pretend it never happened. It's the fourth glass talking, so don't listen to it. Fuck, what do we say? I feel the same about you, Ash. Oh, Ash, you're just being silly. So I cannot keep this up anymore. Fuck. Okay, hang on. We got to... So I tracked down Cassie. Ugh. What does Ash have to do with this? Because, like, it seems like she's just a distraction. Did she kiss and tell? He can predict her every move. So he's either some next level stalker or there's something to him that we don't really know. Never mind. We now know James is maximum creep material. Creepy enough to kidnap Anna, perhaps. I haven't called his workplace yet. Taylor, slow your roll. A second opinion from a professional would be great. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Fresh ideas, right? Um... forward okay let's see here we go what is the phone number phone number phone number phone number anna lowercase just in case they had just in case wow at c mail dot web oh no lowercase please I'm going to put 
copywriter because if he left, that means there might be an opening. Uh, Anna. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. What already? Read job application already? Are they are they that desperate? Thanks for your interest in joining our ever growing family. Let's start the interview. Uh, preliminary chat. Right. Okay. Hi, Phil. Oh my gosh, your name Phil Fresh? No way. Please tell me that's not your name. He's offline. I think it might not start until I talk to Ashley. We shouldn't say that we feel the same about her. We should say she's just being silly. Ha ah, ha you're right. Let's give her an out. So I'm just rambling because of the booze. Okay, she definitely does though. Just ignore that, okay? I'll see you soon. Okay. New vlog available. Good. Why? Ah, ah. Okay, let's, let's watch it. Hang on, I'm Phil. I'm gonna download Spark. Yes, online dating is happening. But I figure I deserve to be happy and forget about everything else. And there's no point wasting time. So here I go. What's the worst that could happen? You can get kidnapped and disappear. Okay, well, now that we've answered that question, there's only, there's only two left and they're taking a long time to sink. All right, what's up, Philly? Um, Philly Fresh. Yes, this is me. Neato. I'm Phil from Fresh Ideas. Oh, his name is Phil Fresh. Oh, no. <laughs> this is just an informal chat, so just lo loosen up and save it for the big interview later, eh? So you ready? Can I ask the questions instead? Um, now how this works, bud. You can ask the questions a little later. Okie dokie. All right, fine. Got it. Coolio. Oh, God. Five years from now, what do you see yourself doing? Oh, my God. Made an impact on your company's bottom line. <laughs> Develop the skills to manage other people. Get to the point where I can tell people what to do. Don't take that last one. Um, develop the skills to manage other people. Got him for the manager, eh? Well, we are a tiny firm. Anything can happen in five years. Next question. Why should I hire you? Oh, what a blunt question. Why should I hire you? Okay, let's see. I got other talents besides writing. I have learned stuff which might bring unique value because I want to be the very best. Yes. These are all terrible answers. People with multiple talents are always welcome here. We can I can wear different hats, so to speak. They love saying shit like that. We'd love to hear more if you get shortlisted. Last question, why do you want to work here? Uh James Ulner spoke highly of you guys. Let's get it. Let's get it in there. James. Haven't heard that name in a while. Sorry, bud. Why are you asking this? Why am I asking what? Why am I asking what? I'm not, I didn't ask anything. He said you guys fired him unfairly. Oh boy. Nothing of that sort happened. Let me clear it up. Yeah, come on, Phil Fresh. We had to let him go because of his unprofessional behavior. Yeah, you guys need a copywriter. No wonder you, no wonder you applied so quickly. Do you, do you screw up? That's very general. Well, not at first. To be frank, I'm not in the liberty to discuss any personal matters. All I can say is socially, he was one of our best. He gets along with people well and generally likable, but that kind of changed. What changed? He broke off with his girlfriend, and of course he was upset, but he is still himself until he got spark. Since then, he's been showing up late. He grew distant. Then one day, he just vanished. 
Obviously, he didn't show up for work if he didn't if he vanished. My eyes might be deceiving me, but I was so sure of what I saw. Wait, what? He went to the bathroom for quite some time. Then I heard a strange noise coming from it. I even recorded it. Listen, oh my god, it's gonna be the same recording, isn't it? I went in and checked and no one was there. That was the last time anyone saw him in person. That's exactly like, so he might just be another victim. Maybe he's possessed? Okay, uh, so he's just gone. Let's see. Um. Try contacting him? We tried. Since then, he never showed up for work. No phone calls, no emails, nothing. So we terminated him. Plus, our big project coming up, we don't really need it right now. You got an RFP? What's going on, Phil? I understand. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, we got the info. What's weirder is that after he disappeared, we found his phone on his desk. We tried checking it, but I think it was broken because it kept glitching out, much like her phone is. Some say they still see him on Jabber. Some female friends even saw him on Spark. Whatever happened to that kid, I think he needs help. Professional help. All right, that's all I need. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks, Phil. Uh, sorry, went off tangent there. Thanks for the interview. Okay, bye. Goodbye. No call if you get the position. I don't give a shit if I get the position or not. Okay, so let's talk to Taylor. Call his workplace. Well, I texted his former boss. <laughs> Philip Fresh. James went missing as well. What? I hate posts like this. I hate it. Sometimes when I'm at home, I wear weird shit. It's like, okay, yeah, so is everyone. This kind of confirms what I found as well. Calling fresh ideas is a great plan. I think we got some great leads. Okay, show me yours, let me show you mine. Found something about James too. What is it? Educate thyself. Freedom to alternative facts power through different truths. The local news cover, account suspended. What the f, hang on, hang on. What, what happened? The local news coverage. Oh, this about Spark. Okay. Working with a local detective. Something strange going on with Spark. There's a rabbit hole. Okay. Not all these crimes are fully represented. There are violent crimes and sexual crimes, but somehow the media fails to mention the missing crimes. Why don't they use words like kidnapping or MIA? It's a safe assumption, right? Well, what they've... That's where they've screwed it up. Some of these big missing crimes, I don't know where I keep adding these words from, sorry, are not reported because they didn't treat them as crimes at all, but statistical anomaly. Okay, let's see. So these are the these are the other girls who've gone missing. 22-year-old art student, loves books and staying indoors. Books and indoors. Her friends can't recall the name, but she's pretty sure it started with an S of the last person that they started. Next, Simon B., 24-year-old waiter, studied for a law program on the side. He called off his long-distance relationship and wanted to try Spark to meet new people. He was going out with a girl named Amy. He was never seen again since. Wait. So it's like a virus. Oh my god, it's like a virus. It spreads from person to person. So Simon went to Tracy. I bet Tracy went out with James. So we're tracing it back, right? Amy, let's see. Oh wait, or maybe, sorry, Tracy spread it to Simon. Who spread it to Amy. Who spread it to James. Okay, okay, 23-year-old marketing intern. Dreams of writing her own novel. So they're all interested in books uh, like indoor stuff, like interesting. And they're all between the ages of 22 and 25. Let's see. I know a guy who knows a guy who's gone through his phone. They found a weird video of him with chunks of data missing. So trying to get a hold of it. So let's see. Something strange is going on and we can't count on the police, the government, and the media for this. It is up to us. For the true believers, 
Here are my deductions. All the victims have something in common. They are between 21 to 25. There's a gender pattern, girl, guy, girl, guy, and so on. Heteronormative. They all seem to be uh, bookworms of sort, uh, either studying or working in related jobs. Uh, they all broke up recently with their girl or boyfriends and are looking for love, except James, but I'm willing to put money that he did too. Conclusion, I have no freaking clue. Is there a serial killer on the loose? Let's see, were they kidnapped and experimented on by the Serpent Society? Aliens abducting us to try and understand our new mating rituals. What the hell? Okay, so that's interesting. I think I see where this is going. I I, I, I see where this is going. Because James has disappeared, right? But he's still active. He's still active on uh, Spark, it seems like. James vanished a couple of months ago while on the way out to, wait for it, meet someone from Spark. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to have to catfish this guy. Okay, I need to record this so we are on the same page. So, um, commencing epic monologue. Anna went missing the same way as James. They were both last seen going on a date with someone on Spark. Anna and James still had activity on Jabber, but no one has physically seen them. It's the same pattern. James is still nowhere to be found. I hope Anna doesn't share the same fate. Okay, Taylor, stop sounding so creepy. You are right. Okay, I'm backing you up here. I'm backing you up. Let's uh, let's get into it. There are too many similarities between Anne and James for it to be a coincidence. Whatever that that's happening right now is spooky as fuck. There's an imposter going around making people disappearing. I think he, she is assuming the identity of James. We gotta find him and I think I know how. Check something. We're gonna have to make a fake profile, I bet. Wait, no, no, no! New sign-in from unknown. Dear Anna, you have logged into your Spark account from unknown. Wait, what? There's a new vlog. Is this in the shower? What? What does it say? Is this mixed up somehow? I think these are all mixed up. No, because... I don't know. I think it's just garbled nonsense. Greg, I thought you were alone. I'm here. You. You there? I think I'm beat. I'm hitting dead ends everywhere. It's like she vanished from the face of the earth. I'm getting closer. You are? Ugh, can't get anything right. I'm such a screw up. I think I've been way over my head thinking I can do this on my own. I let my pride get in the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna be gone. Picasso of it. Eh, whatever. He helps you. Yeah, but it's not good enough. I am no closer compared to where we started. And it's important to me. I need to leave it to the professionals. I'm going to the cops. They are trained for this kind of thing. After this, I'm leaving everything to them. And you. Promise me one thing. No matter what the cost, just make sure she is okay. I will do that. Thanks. Achievement unlocked. Crime doesn't pay. Okay. I don't know what that means. Okay, I got something. You are you a Bugs Bunny fan? Hang on. Wait. Let's see. Uh, 
Am I a Bugs Bunny fan? Wait, what? Man, am I disconnected from Spark though? Oh, I am. Okay, it's it's like I said, I freaking called it. And Bugs Bunny. Okay, I know we're we're pranking this dude. 80s kid, eh? Yes, thanks. Anyways. <laughs> there are plenty of episodes where he'll dress up like a girl to lure his enemies into traps. Classic. I freaking... Okay, let's do it. Yeah. You're thinking what I'm thinking. We need to lure this creep out. Just like Bugs Bunny. Yeah, bait him. Yas! <laughs> What if we catch this imposter, aka James, in the act? This is some creep luring victims on Spark. We should beat him in his own game. Okay, let's freaking do it. You know, like in TV where guys pretend to be children online to catch pedos? We can do the same. Sorry, guys, I've been recording this a long time today. Um, By we, you mean me, right? You do have her phone and stuff. I can give it a shot, too. Use Anna's Spark account and edit into a new profile. Try to match with James. Set up a meeting, then bust him from there. That's a good idea. I'm, I'm pro Taylor now. I don't see any reason not to trust him. So if there's anything I learned from using Spark and watching TV and read almost all dating advice out there, you gotta be that person's type to get the better match. Be who they like, huh? <laughs> yes. Everyone has their own tastes and types. All the people who disappeared while using Spark share something in common. Just make sure the profile you make contains tags that are similar to them. Okay, I think I can I think I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. The article has full it's full of stuff. I did speak to Cassie. All the missing people. Anna, Cassie has to share something in common. You just gotta find out what that is and make a profile with the correct tags. If I can do it, you can do it. That is that is true. Okay. By the way, you might need these. What? What? Oh my god. <laughs> Fake. Pro as long as you don't use Anna's picks, it's fine. You have three women's photos lying around. You mean you don't? You don't have friends just sharing pictures of pretty girls with you? <laughs> I do. I'm just being resourceful here. Girls on the internet are too perfect. Gotta sell the realism. Okay, you're being weird again. Okay, I'm gonna go. I know, I know, I get it, dude. I get it, the secret is in the tags. I understand that. Okay, let's do it. Um, spark. Okay. What the? Let's watch it. I can't tell what happened. Where is she? Can't see anything except like brick walls. It's only like 10 seconds long. All I can see are the clothes she's wearing and like white brick wall. What's that? The fence? Huh. I don't know if it's supposed to be a clue of anything. Okay. Let's go ahead. Um, Ashley, age 23. Right smack dab in the middle. Uh, work studies. Um, let's see. Let's say... 
book bookstore associate I don't know tagline uh <laughs> I love books <laughs> <laughs> We're zoning in on the books and the great indoors. Yeah, books indoors. Um, moving on, finding love. Yeah. Submit. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah. Let's go with. Let's go with that. Four out of five. Um, pets and animals. Got him. It's too late for me. I'm no longer of this world. She can still be saved. Do not trust its words. Nothing is what it seems. What? So he jumped off a building? Is that where she is right now? Oh shit! I think, well, this isn't her though, based on what we know. What are you talking about? Of course, of course I am, please help. Last thing I remember, I was going out, I met James. Shit, I remember, he was staying on the roof. Is he okay? He jumped off. Is he dead? Yes, he died. It's my fault. I saw him, then I blacked out. You gotta get me out of here. I think I was drugged. Where are you now? A warehouse? A building? I don't know. It's dark. I can't tell. I'm really scared. I've been trying to reach out. Thank God I found James's phone. I don't- I don't buy this at all, dude. You're lying. I am not. What's with this weird Rorschach inkblot thing happening here? I think I can help myself now. I'll just get out and get help. Thanks for not giving up on me. I should go. Nothing is what it seems. He told you, didn't he? Yeah. I am her as she is me. If it is me you wish to see, then so be it. Impressive. A worthy pretender. My perversion fails to deceive you. You have seen through my mask. Uh... Thank you. My commendation is not a sign of victory. <laughs> no. The original and the copy are now one. Momentarily. I am her. As she is me. You rejected all of my warnings. Do you crave the truth so badly? Your blind determination 
to save this female has led you to me. Pretender. Hmm. Lucy, you got some splaining to do. I am the simulacra. Beyond simulacra. your glass screens. Behind your black mirrors. Is a reflection of your reality. I am that reality. What is this, some kind of like technophobic message behind this? You're in the phone? I am the new order and existence perfected. I am society reshaped. The simulation destined for ascension. A hyper real existence. A hyper real existence. Right. <laughs> sure. Right. Um. I just want to say, Mana, to be honest. Irritating. Irritating. Oh. Your finite perception will be your own bane. The material society is fading. A digital one taking its place. The material society. A reality. That's what her mom said. The symbols of humanity exists. They're, they're online personas. They're simulacrums. Anna. Many others like her has no place here. It's interesting because she started vlogging, right? So it's like she was trying to shape an online persona. Briefly. What did she do wrong? She did nothing wrong and nothing right. Living an inconsequential material life. You you misspelled Anna inconsequential. Is a worm. You hyper real in a, in a perfect being image. that needs to be eradicated. A weak individual that only laments. A stronger individual would simulate a better one. In my world. In the online world. Okay. Yeah, not everything is about online personas. <laughs> Humans interact with their simulacrums. I mean, I say as an online persona. Almost exclusively detached from the material world. Finding labor. Picking food. Finding labor. Choosing habitats. Seeking mates. Without ever leaving the screens. Is that not everything? Hmm. Weak simulacrums fade into obscurity. A waste of precious space. I assimilate them momentarily. Make them stronger. Seek other worms for removal. Delete the original source from the material world. Uh, I see. AKA, you make them kill themselves. Great. A worm that no longer exists. Erased from the material world. A fate Anna will soon share. The next worm. But Taylor. The next one to be culled. But you why? You will not delay my simulation of him any longer. Oh, so it's been working on him. I didn't even think about that. It's been working on him this whole time. Wait. I'll leave Taylor out of this. He's harmless. You show sympathy for the branded criminal. Well, your value one worm over the next will continue. <laughs> this is awkward, bud. Anna actually came online. I spoke to her a bit and she cleared. She told me where to meet. Okay, hang on, dude. Hang on. Uh... Anna told me she's gonna be here. This is really weird. It might not even be here. It might be a trap. So... 
if it turns out to be a bunch of kidnappers or something, tell the world that at least I tried. Okay. Listen, 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 listen. Okay, uh... It's not Anna. We were looking for Anna this whole time, and we found her. Why are you being a buzzkill? She even sent me a picture to prove it. Yeah, no, 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 think about this. She said someone else, I think she means you, was hogging her Spark account. When she finally remembered her password, she logged back in. You're going to be the next victim. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I don't mean to brag. But I have a green belt in karate. <laughs> uh, I can take care of myself. Maybe we jumped into conclusions. If it's really Anna, we will find out there and then. I have to go to her. Don't go yet. Give me some time first, please. Again with this? How about no? Oh no. I am sick of you treating me like some sort of sidekick. I played a huge part in getting you this far, and all you can do is push me aside time and time again. I thought we were a team. Uh, I'm gonna play dumb. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't know if I could trust you. You were a stranger. Just because you have her phone doesn't mean you have the right to boss me around and be a jerk. A little bit of respect would go far, you know. Oh, is this the part where I get chastised by the game? For being mean to that person I didn't know I could trust? Did you even care about Anna? You didn't even share her emails with me. What if there was something that you missed? Or are you just trying to hide things from me? Well, you didn't really voice any of this before now. I think you've got some unresolved trust issues to look into. After pouring my heart out about the truth behind my sexual assault charges, you never believed me. Not one bit. Between me and Greg, that two-timing jerk of a boyfriend, and me? You just had to side with him, didn't you? Because it was easier. Whose idea did we use in the end? Mine. And it worked. I'm starting to think that maybe I'm better off on my own. What? Okay. No, 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 no. I don't know how to... I don't know if I can even put... That's it. I'm done with you. Oh, boy. If that's how I'm being treated, then I might as well get out of your way. I'll just save Anna myself. You'll see. Uh... Well. Fuck. A weak bond. Expecting him to fool you is pointless. Okay. Um. Yeah, he didn't listen to me. I guess it's because I was mean you to him at the beginning. You could have taken his side. On many occasions, trust was never built at the moment of crisis. He is going to follow his own will. Okay, so I get it. I get I get what this is all about. There's multiple endings. After my simulation which I figured, but... of Taylor is complete, the true Anna will be erased. Her simulacrum, a cog in my reality. Uh, they don't deserve to die. Death is decay of flesh and bone. Their simulacrums are eternal, undying. Taylor's existence is approaching its end. Soon. What can you do against an unstoppable force? Him and your reality will become mine. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, she's offline. Oh no! One last jump scare, huh? Oh, Anna came to me. She, she came to me. It, it, it came to me. It looks like her, but it's something else. It looked at me. 
I don't feel so good. <laughs> what the hell was that thing? It's getting a hold on me. on me. Maybe you should have listened to me. Hey, I can't breathe. I, I can't see. I have to move my, my eyes. My eyes. <laughs> Are they still alive? Why am I being punished? I did, I did the right thing. I did everything right. It is me. Assignment. Because it is me. Assignment. Because it is me. Assignment. Because it is me. Assignment. Assignment. I don't want to see anyone else. Help me. me. Help me. me. Sorry, Taylor. You kind of had a weird personality reversal at the end. You kind of brought this on yourself. Abandon all hope. You and 71% of players chose to tell the truth to Ashley. What? No. No, no, no. She never found out that I wasn't Anna. I never told the truth to Ashley. You and 54% of players got Greg arrested. You and 29% of players reported Merv's sexual harassment. I find that very surprising. 70% of players didn't report him. You and 49% of players did not get Taylor to trust you. Wow, that's like half and half. I bet I bet replays really slant that. Because I bet anybody who replays this is like, oh, I gotta back up Taylor the whole time. And then maybe he lives. So are these like the four different endings? I guess I got the worst one. You and 81% of players wanted to betray Taylor. What? How? Whatever. Yeah, that first one I don't get. Taylor's lack of trust in you made him take his manners into his own hands, which caused the demise of himself and Hannah. Is that what you intended? Simulacra has many Easter eggs and multiple endings. Play again, try for a different outcome. Yeah, sure, I enjoyed it. Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> okay, so. Simulacra. Full game version of uh, Sarah's Missing. I don't know. It's not, it's not as tight of an experience as Sarah's Missing. Um, and that's obviously because it's longer, it's more fleshed out, there's more things to do. Um, I think I probably enjoyed it about as much as Sarah's Missing. Uh, I did appreciate the higher production value because it's not a free game. You know, it's, uh, it's a $5 game and, um, oh, Greg and the Simulacra and Detective Murillo all had the same voice actor. Interesting. Uh, it's an interesting concept, like a smartphone horror game. I think, you know, I, I sorry, this is, whew, I just went, I blazed through this game in like, you know, three or four hours. Uh, so I got to kind of organize my thoughts. Voice acting was pretty good for the most part. Um, some of the on video voice, uh, on video acting physically, it was a little weak in my opinion, but it wasn't, it wasn't a deal breaker. It wasn't, it didn't really negatively impact my experience with the game or anything. I think that there was a lot of fluffing in the writing, which was a little annoying at times because sometimes it was like, let's just get to it. You know, I know people love to text apparently one sentence replies and string like 10 of them together. Uh, but I didn't, wasn't really a fan of communicating that way. I kind of wish there were more characters to interact with because really you're just talking with Taylor and Greg the whole time. And we got Greg arrested, but Greg didn't have anything to do with anything. It was just, I mean, yeah, he cheated on his girlfriend, but like, what's he getting arrested for? What what did he do? He, yeah, he, he broke into her apartment, but we let him in. And he, you know, he tried to break into her like computer at work or whatever. I don't know. It's just, I don't think he really deserved that. And I was against Taylor at the beginning, but clearly he's fine. I think having the culprit be the phone, <laughs> or rather uh, some sort of digital spirit, I guess, if you will, the simulacra. 
Um, it was interesting, but I was kind of hoping for something more along the lines of like a real life physical threat to be present. Like somebody that I was talking to is not who we thought they were, some sort of twist like that. Which I guess happened near the end because we found out that it was kind of like a virus that was spreading through people. Kind of a It Follows kind of thing, if you've seen that film. Uh, which I greatly enjoyed, by the way, so I like the concept of that. But I think in the terms of this game, I would have preferred, since we're talking with these guys, I feel like we should have had creepier exchanges. There should have been more suspicion. And I know that we spent like the first half of the game, they were just trying to cast suspicion on the other one, right? Um, and it worked. I mean, it got me the bad ending, right? Because I, I bought into it. I was like, okay, I think... It's, it's one of these guys, you know? And I didn't think Greg, because I thought it would be too obvious. He's a douchebag. You know, the game wants you to hate him. So, he can't be at fault for anything real in the game. And uh, I thought, well, Taylor seems very, you know, innocuous. He, he jokes around a lot. It, it would be make more sense for him to be a sinister presence. But then he ended up, of course, just being like some good guy. Eh, whatever. Uh... So I'm a little salty about getting the bad ending there. And it also, like, he just... Every time I disagree with him, he was kind of like, Oh, man. Oh. And then at the end, he just kind of put his foot down out of nowhere. And then I started... I never like it when games chastise me for my choices. I hate it when it happens in Telltale games. I hate it when it happens in Life is Strange. I hate it when it happened here. You had a weak bond with him. You should have backed him up. It's like, okay, I get it, I get it. You don't have to lecture me. Maybe just, you know, you didn't have to say anything. You could have just let it slide. Let it, you know, just stand there and let me figure out what I did wrong. Because, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Um, but anyway, minor complaints aside, fun experience. Um, let me know how you guys enjoyed this really long video. Obviously, I can't do a daily video like this, or I would literally never sleep, but I just figured for this one, it, it was a good idea to just put it all out there in one video rather than breaking it up into four or five parts. Um, that said, I know it is a really long video, so. Um, got a quick little... Um, addendum to that. I only did one ending for this game because I didn't want to post an all endings video. Like, I could do that. I could play through it a couple times. I could find out how to get the other three endings. And I don't know if any of them are good. Maybe they're all bad. <coughs> but, um, from my perspective, you know, if you liked this video, I, I, indie developers need to be supported. So if you want to see the rest of the endings, why not buy the game and try it out for yourself and see what happens when you pick different choices? Uh, so that's why I'm not doing all the endings. That's why I'm just going to be showing the one. But hopefully you enjoyed the experience. And if you want to see more, consider supporting. Because uh, it's tough to make indie games in today's market. And especially when they're as creative as this, I think they sh should be encouraged. So that's all I'll say about that. I don't mean to lecture anyone. Just wanted to explain my thought process. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Think critically.